God. I've been trying to get this thing to work for five minutes here. Hey guys. Good morning guys. Thank you for coming in. I have to get everything set up. Set up, set up, set up, set up. Today's adventure is some covered bridges in the area. We're in Pennsylvania trying to uh, keep ourselves busy and see some fun stuff. So I figure we can bring you guys for a ride. Go do a little tour. There's a lot of interesting things around. Uh, expect some spotty service. Apparently, the service is a little in and out around here. But yeah, we're... Uh, we're five minutes out from our first covered bridge. Oh, look at this fun hill. Ah, uh, so many hills around here. Look at that hill. Yeah, so we're heading towards a couple of covered bridges today. Figured we'd bring you guys along. Like, share, and subscribe if you like this stuff. some in Vermont when we were up there last year. I feel like it was last year. Was that just the fall? That was last fall. Yeah. Hey, Striker. I'm just seeing uh, the text here. What's up, Todd? What's up, Striker? A little choppy today. I apologize, guys. Hey, Striker. I'm going to check the text when I stop driving. We're going to try maybe... Turning Jen's hot spot on. Maybe that'll work. Let's see. Jen's hot spot work. I am trying to see if the hot spot is going to function for us here. Bear with me. Good morning, Linda. Good morning, Larry. Hey, guys. The gimbal's doing its gravity defying tricks again. Thank you, gimbal, for that. Appreciate that. I gotta like hold it in place. Yeah, everything's coming together good. The American Freedom Convoy has some real estate. So we are going to be moving, uh, well, they are gonna be moving over there. We're gonna be joining them for a little bit, hanging out. We're just waiting on the confirmation. You did Max say today? Yes, terrible, terrible service, guys. I apologize already. Uh, but just stick with me. You know, we're going to try to show you guys some covered bridges. Uh, maybe the service got better. I did try to connect to... Jesus. Every two seconds here. Don't worry about it, guys. We'll stay with you. Uh, we, ch we changed over to Jet's Wi-Fi, so hopefully it's a little better. Let me know in the chat if it's absolutely super horrible, and we will try to do something about it again. But... As of right now, I'm going to try to hold the gimbal. Here we go. I had it in the tripod, but I think my hand's steadier than the tripod. Don't have a dash mount because uh, our dash is very oily from the, from the uh, armor roll. So. I'm making a little right over this. Guy here. All right, guys, we are one minute away from our first covered bridge where Jen is going to end up parking. We're going to get out and film the bridge a little bit, check it out, see what it's all about. North Club Road. In 800 feet, your destination will be on the left. Let's see if my gimbal will uh, cooperate with its. Oh, nice. I can see the bridge ready in the distance there, guys. So we're coming up on our first little covered bridge. We should go over it, like we should go through it and park on the side and then we'll, we'll do a little walk. 
Your destination is on Let's the check left. Check her out. Is it them. actually? It's just a. Here, pull over here. What is this? Yeah, you, yeah, what the hell did we stumble upon over here? All right. I guess grab one of those spots and we'll uh, we'll check out this cool spot we just found at this American Legion slash covered bridge. So, good afternoon, American girl. Hey, American girl. Yes, we weathered the storms. I am just going to pop out here and give you guys a little look at what we're checking out. Let me just pop my tripod out there. Jen, do you want the phone? Well, oh, yeah, I got the Wi-Fi. Yeah, yeah, I got to hold the phone. So we're going to only be able to read your chats off the screen here. I so, might be able to pull both off. Let's check some stuff out real quick, guys. We got an awesome tank here. I'm not positive on what model it is. It's uh, American from what I know. So we got a little bit of action here today for you guys, some war, war uh, relics. It's just cool to walk around these guys. We got to see a chopper land the other day, but uh, here's one a little closer. This guy's in uh, in action like it was going to buzz the ground over here. But yeah, we got this guy. Pretty neat. Let's see if we can get a cockpit shot. This is dedicated to the veterans of all wars. Thank you, Jen. Lock them all up with God. Oh, uh, he said, what's up with convoy? Seems uh, it is a road trip since California. Well, we're all meeting back up in the Hagerstown area soon. Yes, they are still in Maryland. Uh, American Freedom Convoy has secured some land that we can uh, all rally at and the convoys can come to and the truckers can come to uh, we are just doing a little tour around here around the Pennsylvania area we are going to be going to the Trump rally tomorrow I guess if it doesn't rain but we just stumbled upon some pretty cool war relics um, that the American Legion has over here and this is dedicated to the veterans of all wars so we're going to go check out this uh, cool covered bridge over here. Thank you guys all for joining us. I'm not positive on how many people are actually in the chat. Thanks to our shadow ban by YouTube. You are fantastic shadow banning us. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. But at least we got you guys here. I like covered bridges too. And this is a, a walking one now. It doesn't look like it's operational. We got an old covered wagon inside. Really cool to check this out, guys. This is the 1873 Trosseltown Bridge, restored by the Storytown Lions Club, 1965 to 1993. So this was built originally 1873, 1873. We got a little plaque inside here. So this is in dedication to the Lions Club that uh, restored the bridge, did a great job of it too. Here is the story of the Lions Club. It says it's the largest service club organization in the world but, with more than 1.4 million members and 48,000 clubs. This is what I wanted to see though. Cool little covered wagon. They were founded in 1917. Nice. Awesome. This is cool. I mean, imagine all these parts being handmade by some blacksmith in a shop in the middle of summer or winter. Here's a cool little bench. We could have had lunch here if we could find somewhere that had bread. 
Apparently, bread is a hard commodity to come by up here in PA. But we have our first covered bridge. And there's Jen. Jen's looking at the bridge. Making sure it's sturdy. Well, yeah, it's pretty sturdy. So this looks like an old little landing for something else here on the other side. But it would have went through. There's an old little brick foundation over here. It's pretty cool. It's got a little cutout. Looks like maybe for a fireplace or something. Let's see what we got. This bridge, I'm going to be honest with you, it must have had more water coming through this area at one point. I'm going to try to stay out of the thorn bushes here. So this is our first stop, first covered bridge. We are going to be going to a couple today. If you'd like to know which bridges, they're in the description. Um, you guys can check out the description below and find out which bridges we'll be stopping at today. For the most part, uh, maybe we might catch an, an oddball here and there because there is a bunch in the area and uh, we like history. So. Could you just imagine like some horses carrying some covered wagons across here back in uh, 1787? So we donated in 2010 to the Story Museum Area Historical Society. Super, super cool. Yes, that's awesome. I didn't know that, Katie. Thank you. Oh, congratulations, guys, for getting into the room. Apparently, you got notified. Thank you. Florence Scott, striker, American girl. I know there's not a lot of covered bridges left. So um, I'd like to get a little bit of history on tape before it disappears, you know? All you need is one knucklehead with a match and uh, stuff disappears nowadays and it never gets rebuilt the same way, you know? That uh, carpentry and that skill is a dying trade. So the Lions Club has done a lot of work around here. So shout out to the Lions Club uh, in this area for pre preserving history. And shout out to the American Legion for also preserving history over here. We turned a corner. I seen a tank and a helicopter. I'm like, it's going to be a party today. <laughs> so thank you all for coming in the room. This, this over here, what I'm showing you now was an accident. We actually didn't know this uh, was gonna be here, but it is super cool. I'm not sure of the model of helicopter. I'm sure Stryker would be able to tell you the helicopter and the tank over here. It looks uh, a little Namish. That helicopter looks a little like it came from Nam. I don't see that coming out, except for maybe the end of World War II or something. Huh, I'm not sure, that looks pretty cool too. You wanna to check this out, guys? Do you want, I was gonna say, do you wanna drive over here and meet me over here? I'll just take them for a walk. So there's a little outhouse over there. You guys see the little outhouse? Where is it? Me and my Zoom, there's the little outhouse. My gimbal's got a mind of its own. It just does its own thing. But we got this like pavilion here. It looks like maybe this could have been some kind of church or something at one point. I don't know. I'm sure there's some kind of uh, the other history on that rock right there. We'll go check that out too, maybe. I like this guy over here. This looks like an old train station or something. I'll tell you, the Lions Club, shout out to the Lions Club, man. You guys really do some work around here. Oh, okay. So, this does look like an old train station, but I see this sign right here that says, no through traffic, no trespassing. So, I'm going to stop it right here. I am not trying to get any kind of trouble. Let's get a little closer for you guys, though. Little old train station. 
Got some cedar shake roof, it looks like, or some slate roof. I can't see from here. Right? So, all right, guys. Let's get moving again. We're gonna hit our next covered bridge. Um, so I'm gonna have to find that real quick on the on the GPS. So bear with me one second, guys, while I find that on Jen's phone. That's gonna be our next destination. Jen, do you wanna face that way real quick so I can give them a little covered bridge action to look at while we there we go. Search our next spot. There's our first covered bridge we went and looked at today, guys, right here. So you got your covered bridge. My gimbal is doing some auto moving by itself. That's cool. All right. So. Now we are going to our next covered bridge. We are at the Trosseltown Covered Bridge right now. We are going to be going over to the Glensner Covered Bridge. So we're gonna head over in that direction now. That's 11 minutes away. Head northwest toward North Club Road, T666, then turn right onto North Club Road. So we have that covered bridge. Good afternoon, Linda, or Laura, I see you, Laura. We got some cool old army artifacts out here. I'm going to have to put my seatbelt on and bear with me for a second while the gimbal bounces. All right. And there's our first covered bridge here. Continue straight. So that's our first one. We are going to be now moving on to our second covered bridge. So as the, the covered bridge gets further into distance, oh no, Gimbal just had a freak out. Gimbal, it's gonna be all right, buddy. You just hang in there. And then somewhere along the way, I'm hoping to see some kind of portage on or something Take the next that I can stop and use. East. That's cool. Bunch of little dinosaurs and stuff on the side of that. You always find some interesting stuff on the road, guys. Done some traveling and I've always found the most random things out here. All right, here we go. Continue on US 30 East for two miles. I'm gonna hold the gimbal because if I don't, then you guys end up, end up bouncing around like crazy. And it's annoying for both of us. So we got a 10 minute ride guys to the next covered bridge where maybe we'll find some other extra interesting things on the way. Cause really we're just going from bridge to bridge and uh, seeing what the uh, road has to offer to us on the way. So thanks for coming in. Thanks for visiting us. We appreciate everybody being here. I think it's Stoys now. I don't even know if there's an R in there. But uh, good afternoon, Laura. Yes, we're good after that storm. We uh, we hunker down in the car for a little bit. All right, we have a trucker on the side of the road here. It seems like he's got himself in order. He has a breakdown. There's nothing I can do to help fix him. You had fun last night, Striker? That's awesome. Yeah, it's a celebration for Cinco de Mayo today, for those of you who celebrate. Also, National Prayer Day, for those of you who are praying. So we have both uh, spectrums, both ends of the spectrum. We'll be praying today. Not much drinking going on for us, because Number one, it's not in the budget, and number two, it's not really responsible for us considering we have to be up super, super early tomorrow in hopes that the rain is going to hold off and we get our Trump rally. Oh, uh, the other night in the, in the car, yeah, that was awesome, man. We had a good radio station playing. 
Um, believe it or not, YouTube hit me with copyright uh, claims on every single one of the songs that played. Hi, Diane. She says, good afternoon, DJ and Jen. Uh, glad you guys are doing good. Sending hugs, love, and support with a big thank you for all you're doing to make sure you get the Trump rally early. Yes, we are going to get to the Trump rally early. You can thank my gimbal for the sideways view. I don't know what its problem is today. I tried getting that trucker, just wouldn't beat for me. It's all right. Some of them are so out here in the woods, they have no idea what we're going out there in DC yet. That's gonna be this right coming up. All right, seven minutes away, guys. We're getting close. Look, we get greeted with that big flag. Hello, Old Glory. Continue for four miles. We got a guy with a helmet on. Safety first. Always think safety, guys. Oh, another flag over there. Hello, flag. That guy's shirt is official. I like that shirt. We'll have a viewer back. Got some ground beef steak pieces for the freezer. Nice. It wash up there, it's striker. Is that a porta john in the woods? Nope, that's a hunting shack with a uh, pickup cab on top of it. So if you guys are just joining us, thank you. Nomadic Ralph, what's up, man? We are going to uh, visit some covered bridges today. Me and Jen are trying to make the most of this uh, nice day today. A little calm before the uh, supposed storm we're going to have tomorrow at the Trump rally. So rain or shine, me and Jen will be showing up there very early uh, in anticipation. There is absolutely no camping on the fairgrounds property. So if you guys are planning on going, uh, I'm sorry but there is no camping there. You're gonna to have to get a campground close by. The organizers of the actual fairgrounds asked me to relay that message to you guys when we stopped by yesterday. All right, we got a little church over here. Nice. Little old church, we're slowing down. Kemelton. Kemelton, the town of Kemelton. Hi, Rhonda. Ralph, we're working on waterfalls. Um, we're getting to things that Jen can walk to easily because the last waterfall I took her to kind of beat her neck and back up quite a bit. So, Yes, Todd J. He says, we the people are the change this world needs. Family, don't break the law. Uh, the law break the system. What? Don't break the law, break the system. I hear you. Oh, that's a cool law cabin. Sorry, I was late on that one, guys. I was I was uh, reading to you. There's some log cabins out here, some cute little log cabins. I'm all about log cabins. This is the kind of forest I would buy, like some property, and just make my whole house straight out of the uh, surrounding area. Nomadic uh, is singing in the chat. Thank you, Nomadic. Nomadic Ralph. We love you, buddy. I hope you enjoy our little tour today. We got to see a military helicopter, a tank, and a covered bridge. And it hasn't even uh, been too long yet since we've been on. And we are only five minutes away from our second covered bridge. And then the rest of the bridges, uh, it might be a little ride to the rest of them, but the rest of the bridges are gonna be like back to back in this one area. There's gonna be like six, I think, that are gonna be back to back. We're hitting a couple stragglers out here. Oh, there's a horse farm. It's a cool little horse farm. They're like homesteading out there. That's cool. Yeah, we lose service too. That's a part of it. We got some horse dung on the road. That's cool. I think we just got that. Oh, that was fresh. <clears throat> oh, wow. Phew. I can taste it. That's disgusting. Oh, Ooh. my God. Well, there are some benefits of living where we live. You don't get to smell that all the time. 
but it definitely reminds you that you're in the country. I'll take that smell over the neighbors that we got and their smells. That's true. Oh man, all this country land out here, it's so pretty. And all these big long hills. Okay, we're gonna uh, go look at Nicole's live. Could do that if um, I wasn't live myself, Ralph. But we're live and uh, doing our live right now. I'm sure Nicole's got some people watching over there. I'll I'll fill myself in after we get out of here, but. I heard that you guys have found a piece of property. We're going to text Nicole in a little bit and find out the details. But we're very happy that you guys have a base of operations and we'll be by to help out soon. Oh, there we go. Thanks, guys, for hanging in there. Don't forget, we're going to keep losing service every in a while. So, But yes, uh, congratulations to the American Freedom Convoy for securing a location. To set up, we're gonna have the soup kitchen set up there. Uh, we're gonna be set up. If any other convoys want to come down, we're gonna come there and start live streaming again. Uh, we're hitting a couple little things in the meantime, though. Me and Jen wanted to take a little break and uh, show you guys historic sites, some points of interest. Um, covered Bridge Road. We got Glessner Covered Bridge. So here we go, guys. We are two minutes away. We're going to be rolling on this here. In a quarter mile, you will arrive at your destination. Okay. Quarter mile. So we're probably going to see it over this hill here. Let's see, guys. I don't see a bridge yet. Still, this is a long. This is going to be a long quarter mile GPS. I'll tell you, I've seen Fast and Furious cover this a lot faster. Oh! Well, we are going to find some interesting roads, that's for sure. It's going to go dirt real quick around here. And I'll get my seatbelt prepared for our next covered bridge. Oh, this is cool. We're going to see a barn. And there's the covered bridge, I believe. I can see it on the other side of that barn on the left. Rolling up to the covered bridge. I love old farmhouses and old towns like this. This is cool. I hope you guys are enjoying yourselves. Doing a little covered bridge tour in Pennsylvania with Jersey J and Jersey Jen. Is this one also closed off to traffic? It looks it. Or maybe not. I think we can go over it. Should we park on the side? I think we should park on the side. We'll park on the side and walk this one. You've arrived. I'm not driving on that. Uh, Jen's afraid. <laughs> Jen's is scared of the little covered bridge. I'm going to leave the tripod here this time. I don't think I need that. It reminds me of Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. Oh, where they drive off the side mm -hmm. and starts their whole adventure? Yep. It does kind of remind me of that. Bear with me, guys. Oh, nope, nope. Everything I did to stop that from happening still happened. Anyway, here we go. Babe, can you get the tripod from being a mess in the car? Thank you. All right. So, Somerset County Bridge, number 65. It's the Gles Glessner Covered Bridge, rehabilitated in 1998. Originally constructed in 1881 by Tobias Glessner. The Glessner Covered Bridge is an example of a multiple king post and burr arch style truss. The bridge was closed to traffic in July of 1995. Do you have a lighter? So there it is right there, 1881 Glessner Bridge. Has a nine foot, nine inch clearance. Yeah. 
Thank you. I like the architecture in this one. It's got the uh, a double design here. I don't want to just speed walk through the whole thing for you guys because I know some of you are like really digging this stuff like I do. Tell you what though, if a car comes through while we're in here, there's nowhere to go. I think you can drive through that. I know you can. You just don't want to. I know. I'm gonna get beetle juiced and end up in the in the river down there. I think on the right of me is definitely someone's house. So we're not going to go on that yard. But they do have it set up pretty nice along this bridge. We're going to go on this side. Hi, Jersey Jim. Hello. We're going to go on this side, guys. Get the bridge from over here. Hey, Cindy Horn. Thank you, Striker, for putting that up. That's very uh, helpful because we are kind of running a little low on funds lately, uh, waiting for uh, YouTube to drop their check, which is not very much at all. That's on the 21st. Nomadic Ralph. I hope you're still in here, bro. Checking out our uh, covered bridge tour with Jersey Jen today. And there was a sign over there that says fishing's permitted. But I didn't happen to... Uh, do I have my fishing stick with me? I don't know. Jen, I'm just going to walk through the river on the way back. Just kidding. Better get some boots. Yeah, these boots ain't going to do it. And there's a little railroad crossing up here. I'm sure there's a little bit more history up that road. I bet there is. There's probably some more stuff. Oh, I found the puddle. There's one of three puddles. I found one of them. So this is the Glessner from 1881. Glessner, 1881. It's got elevated planks on the floor here. Look at these uh, beams, stacked beams. So cool. I love covered bridges. Yeah, right? That is a little strange. Then over here, I think, I'm not positive on what that plant is, guys, but I think it's pokeweed. Not sure. I'd have to look it up. My book's actually in the in the car. I could do that. But um, there's a bunch of it over here. Old barn. Oh, look at that. They are actually allowed to use the fish on their property. It's courtesy of the landowner. As long as you don't litter. Yeah. So there's our second covered bridge, guys. Second covered bridge. I'm just gonna kill this cigarette before I get in. So I don't have to set up with a cigarette in my hand here. All right, here we go. Here we go, here we go. Who's this one? What is that? All right. Uh, no politics allowed. Yeah, that's it, man. We uh, we knew about that for a while. I actually spoke with, with Brian at the uh, Harrisburg rally and he spoke there. We spoke on the phone a little bit about it. Um, all right, you guys, hang on one moment. I'm going to put you in the tripod while I set up 
for the next location, which is a little further away. I gotta connect the batteries. Battery charger. All right, next one is our next bridge we're going to today is going to be called the New Bar Covered Bridge. It says it's closed and we're gonna go check it out anyway. That's what we're doing. All right, cool. So from here, uh, I think we gotta turn around. I'm not actually positive. I'm pretty sure we gotta turn around. All right. No politics. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Um, it's always a, a, a situation where a, a somebody comes in the room and they try to say something like that because I'm not sure if you're trying to promote um, unity or actually, you know, divert us from unity. But I do know that at some point I'm going to have to find some kind of bathroom because I don't want to pee on the side of a bridge. Oh, okay. You've been busy in the garden. No politics allowed. I got you, buddy. Yeah, just like I was saying before, though, um, yeah, you know, when people pop in like that, I'm not too sure sometimes on what's going on because uh, a lot of people want to just, you know, change the topic of what's going on today. And we are actually out here looking for covered bridges. And tomorrow we are going to be doing the, uh, the Trump rally. Ooh. Lots of bumps. Lots and lots of bumps. But uh, yeah, this is a back road right now coming from our second covered bridge that we checked out today. We'll be r rolling up to our third one in 24 minutes. So you're gonna take a little 24 minute ride with us to the next covered bridge. And we are going to be checking out the scenery on the way. Lots of nice little farms out here. Some antique places. A lot of history. Take the next right onto Lambertsville Road. Ooh, next right. Somebody's got a dandelion problem. Big time. They have no no uh, plans on doing anything about it either. I love it because it makes the yard look cool with their yard. They have a blue house with yellow all over the yard. Apparently, it's everywhere. Candy lines everywhere. You know what? You can just stay there. Uh, uh, you can just stay there, tripod. I'm not moving you anymore. All right, guys, so we are on the move again, which means we might lose service here and there. So make sure you guys stick around. We're not going to get off. Uh, we're just going to stay on even through the service uh, disruptions. But, yeah, we appreciate everybody that is here and that's sticking in the room. If you guys want to hang out and watch a uh, covered bridge tour? Me and Jen want to find something to do today to occupy ourselves besides sitting at the campground. We do have neighbors that popped up yesterday. And they, got, they are actually vendors that will be selling merchandise at the Trump rally. So they are they have also been in Hagerstown. They were down in Hagerstown selling merch. So we are coming into Shanksville, Pennsylvania, home of the Viking, which is ironic because Vernon Township, where I went to high school, they're also the Vikings. Has the same Viking symbol and everything on their sign. So I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure these guys popped up before burning, but who knows? Little old town here. We're going to cruise through, see what they got. There's a little uh, general store. Turn left onto John Street, then slight left onto Shanksville Road. We're rolling. Flight 93 Memorial, where is that? Hold on, before we go anywhere. Take the next left on the 
Is this where it went down? Yeah, this is the left. Uh, where's the, uh, hold on. We'll just find somewhere to pull over up here. Let's see if we could find the Flight 93 Memorial real quick. I'd like to see that while we're out here. Joe D's, what's up, man? Yeah, just pull over to the side a little here. That's all. All right. Flight 93 Memorial. Here's what I found along your route for Flight 93 Memorial. It says we have to turn around. Head southeast you want to go quick? Road toward Bridge Road. Is that it? All right, we're going to go to the Flight 93 Memorial. That's every people are saying, yeah, do it. All right, sure. We're going. Quarter mile, turn right onto Bridge Street. We're gonna go pay our respects to the Flight 93 Memorial. I didn't realize we were that close, guys. Thanks for reminding me, Striker. It's in a huge field. Yeah, I remember that day, unfortunately. I've uh, never been able to actually make it up here. I have been to the 9-11 Memorial over in the city. Yes, sweetheart. Absolutely. Absolutely. So we're in Shanksville, guys. Oh, wow. That's as big as the town is. The sign and then the town and then another sign. That's it. So we are now going to the Flight 93 Memorial in Shanksville, Pennsylvania. Take the next left onto North Street. Oh, look at that right there. It's on the sign right there. Oh yeah, yes. Flight 93 Memorial. Awesome. Uh, we weren't seeing it because we were heading the other direction. Very old cemetery over there. Yes, it's going to be uh, definitely a different experience. We haven't um, been to anything like this yet over, up here. So, yes, keep your head straight. Thank you. American Girl, yeah, we're, we're trying to get all of you guys to see things you've never seen before. So, as well as us, you know, we haven't seen any of this either. So if you guys like all this stuff, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Um, you could also become a member now of our Jersey Freedom Fighters. And you get access to special video content, early releases, uh, special new emojis that we came out with. Yes, American Girl, we are still at the campsite. And things are great. They're not that wet over there. Um, we're doing good. Oh, the camera view's weird. I bet. I got the gimbal, so. Yes, thank you, Striker. We have another one coming out tomorrow, guys, just for the trolls. We are going to have some fun with the trolls and the new emojis. Thank you, Stein. It's like washed out, huh? Well, I hope you guys got semi-good footage. Coming from my... Uh, my phone right now. Ah, oh, I'm sorry, Striker. Uh, hopefully the service gets a little better. I don't think we're still on Jen's Wi-Fi. Oh, we are. We might be. But we are seven minutes out from the Flight 93 Memorial in Pennsylvania. We're going to stop by and pay our respects to the lives lost that day. What do you know? We love Yeah, I'm lucky to even have service out here right now, guys, to tell you the truth. 
Nice old barn, big old cross on the front of it. This is God's country out here. Man, that's a big old house out there. Some property, man. You guys are just getting here. Uh, we are doing a covered bridge tour today with a couple little extra stops along the way. Stryker just let us know we were near the uh, Flight 93 Memorial up in Pennsylvania here. So we are going to stop at that first. Uh, we did get a little glimpse of some war helicopter and uh, war tanks, uh, some memorial that the American Legion had at our first cover bridge. I think I'm looking at it. It's up there. It looks huge, if that's it. It literally looks massive. So this is going to be the Flight 93 area um, across from here, up on that hill in that area up there. That's going to be where we're headed. Along the way, we got a little homestead here. It's pretty cool. If what I just saw was the memorial, it's pretty big. I didn't know if it was going to be huge like that, but it's, it's pretty massive. Um, yeah, if, Cindy Horn. So YouTube, um, if you do the donations through YouTube, they uh, take out 30%. I got to wait a month to get it. Um, you know, Cash App and PayPal is the best bet if you guys are going to donate. We do appreciate all of it, by the way. It's, uh, you know, it's necessary because, you know, to be out on the road like this, we don't actually go to get to go to work up in Jersey or anything like that. Uh, so it's with your support that we keep this going. And we're trying to keep this going as long as possible. We want to follow the movement and show everybody out there what's going on since the media doesn't want to. But we do not have a $600 million budget like the mainstream media does. So we're at a little bit of a handicap. Yeah, we're making our right up here. There's that church. All right. So we're making a right on Cemetery Road. We are currently three minutes away from the uh, Flight 93 Memorial. Sorry about that. The game was going on. It's uh, on its own little spurt today. Yes, keep your head straight. Our lives are saved because of the uh, the brave people that sacrificed their lives on this air aircraft that day. So we do have a cemetery up here on the left. Uh, it's too old to be related to the Flight 93. Well, this is cemetery. Yeah, cemetery road. This is an older cemetery here. Looks like they still have people getting buried in there, though. That guy's got a lot of work cut out for him. That's a big field. Yeah. So we're two minutes away now, guys, from the Flight 93 Memorial. Please like, share, and subscribe so others can uh, experience this... Uh, little road trip that we're on here and all the education that we're trying to put out and I just really want to show you guys what we see out here on the road and thanks to Stryker we got a reminder that we are right down the street from this uh, memorial so we're definitely going to stop in and take a look well, like I said we are like two minutes out
close, guys. I think I was off on what I thought the memorial was. I saw some huge structure in the middle of the woods or a field. I don't think that's what I uh, was looking at. One minute away. Four covered bridges. Yeah, no, I know, Shane. Don't worry about it, bud. Yeah, we got a whole bunch of covered bridges. Um, we're going to have another six or so over in PA here, not too far of a, from us. We're just going to hit this Flight 93 Memorial real quick first. And it's going to be right up ahead of us here. Eight game lands to our right or left, and it says right here. I'd say go in here, yeah. It's saying to make a right. Our GPS is going all funky telling us to go up the street. But this is this is it here. So, guys, we've arrived at the Flight 93 um, Memorial here. It could actually be the same place I was thinking of. I have to see. Memorial Plaza, Tower of Voices. Uh, Tower of Voices, I would say first. That looks like it's up there. So this is where we are today, guys. Flight 93 National Memorial. That Tower of Voices looks uh, pretty interesting. It's over to our left here. I'll show you guys in a second. We should hit that first. That's our first stop. That's the exit. All right. Exit only. Um, I have my drone, but my drone is broken. So I have to fix my drone first in order to get drone footage. That's authorized personnel only. All right. I can see uh, why they tried to land here. At least take it down here. Big, big open area. Joe D's, I will definitely try to um, check that out. I'll see if there's any signs or anything for that as we're driving. There's a, uh, a church that has a lot of the stuff from the Flight 93, all the stories and artifacts from what happened. Here. I can't believe how long ago it was. Yeah, I didn't know they had a memorial up here either. Museum Plaza, very far up this road, okay. Yeah, we're gonna try to uh, find the office and everything up here first. That definitely doesn't look like a road that we would need to go up. Yeah, guys, if you could send through PayPal or Cash App, we would really appreciate it. Uh, we have to wait until the 21st of every month to get paid from YouTube, and they take 30% whatever you're donating. Yeah, guys, thank you very much. But we do appreciate every single thing you guys are doing. Thank you. Any of the bots can up. Yeah. Uh, Striker's been helping out. No, Ralph, you're awesome. Nice little view over there.
I think we should find a restroom real quick so I can stop thinking about that because it's just all that's on my mind and my eyes are turning yellow. Oh, trust me, they're peeled. All right, so you guys will get to hang out with Jersey Jen for a few minutes while I go check out the uh, bathroom facilities. Visitor center sounds good. Making a right. All right, going up. Please, Lord, let there be a couple bathrooms over here that I could use. Um, I guess just park over in the front here. Right. You have your placard. All right, we're going to go out there in a second, There's guys. Bathroom. Yeah, this is the spot I thought it was. All right, so Jen, if you want to get started with everybody, here you go, battery pack. Guys, Jen's going to take you for a little walk around for a minute while I go and use the restroom. You want to put the window up? Hey, guys, give me one second. I just got to get some stuff together here in the car. Second, get my stuff here. I gotta turn the car off, make sure I have the battery pack. Okay, this I got. What else do I need? I feel like I'm missing stuff. I feel like I'm missing stuff. All right. Get this going so I can see the chat. Oh, I just saw I just saw your um your text message striker. Sorry, I just saw it because I, I had the I had the uh, what do you call it? I had the phone using. Oh, Cindy Horn, thank you very much for the donation. I greatly appreciate that. Jay greatly appreciates that. Thank you guys so much. Now, let me get out of the car here and we'll see what we can see. And bear with me guys, because I am not good with this gimbal thing. I don't know that much about it. It seems to kind of have a mind of its own here. Whoop, sorry. So let's see here. So visitor center and outlook. All right, let's go over here. I can't see the chats, guys. Hi, Brenda. Hey, guys. All right, let's take you for a walk over here. Like I said, I'm not used to this thing. <laughs> so this looks like some kind of pathway that we're walking here. And it's, uh, let's see here, there's the, there's old glory there. And I can't see any of the chats, guys, because the sun's glaring on the screen. Yeah, I know, right? It's weird. It's like we're boarding something here. Crazy, right? I don't want to go too far because I don't want him to not know where I am. But this is the walkway that we're coming in on here. Oh, the stupid thing. I do not like this gimbal thing. And then this is the walkway here. And I think there's some stuff on the ground here. What does that say there?
Thank you, American girl. I appreciate that. <laughs> Marshall, thank you. I can't wait to get out there, too. I wish you would hurry up. All right, what does this say here? 9.37.46 a.m. Pentagon. American Airlines Flight 77. Can you guys see that? You can see that, right? Let's see if I can get a little bit closer. This is on the ground where we're walking in here. Did you guys get that? Ah, come on, Gimbal, stop it. All right, hold on, guys. I'm having a problem with this thing. It doesn't like me. And now it's all wobbly. And because I don't know how to use this thing, it's now I gotta hold it with my hand. <laughs> Ugh. What are you doing, Gimbal? Come on, please. All right, bear with me, guys. I'm sorry. I think so. I think that's. I think that's what that is. I think that's the time. We. <laughs> you guys are funny. All right. I'm going to walk in a little bit more. Let's see. Oh. Come on, Gimbal. What's your problem today? Oh, my eyes watering. All right, you guys ready? Visitor Center. I don't know if it goes all the way back there or not, but there's a thing here. Hold on, I'll show it to you. All right, you guys back? All right. Sorry. I really hope we're not going to. Yeah, I know. I, I just saw that before. Here comes Jay. So we're going to give him back the gimbal because. Honestly, this thing's annoying. I don't even know how he deals with it. Yeah, I think there probably is a... There's a whole bunch of different things. I think that front part there is where you're going to look out into the field. So, give me one second. Here's Jay. This thing I don't know how to use, and they keep going for a ride. So, uh -huh. I did lose service once I popped in there. So, I'm just warning you. All right, hold on. There we go. Oh. Did you lose service? No, I, uh... Are we on my Wi-Fi still? So? All right, so you showed them all this already? Yeah, I showed them Did that. you show them the boulder? Boulder is where the uh, actual crash site was. So I'm going to show them the boulder. It's allegedly over here somewhere. Um, see, here's the field. This is a common field one day, a field of honor forever. So there's actually a boulder that marks the site of the impact. I'm not sure where it is.
you guys are just joining us, we are at the Flight 93 Memorial, Pennsylvania. Give you a little insight here. Oh, so they put the 40 passengers and crew engraved on the white marble panels at the ceremonial gate. I think we have to walk there. Yeah. Uh, so this is this is actually the path. Here's the crash site in Boulder. So we have to go down. It's over there. Yeah, we have to go down there and walk that. All right. You ready? Ready for the walk? Let's go, chat. There's Jen. You can smile. It's okay. I didn't know the camera was there, and I, and I had a glare in my eye. Sorry, oh. guys. I'm smiling. Yes. Brenda Bridge. Uh, this is the site from 9-11 uh, with Flight 93, where the uh, passengers took control over from the uh, dirty terrorists and uh, took the plane down instead of having it hit its target. Whatever they were going for at the time. I don't believe it's open. It says it was closed. Huh? I saw people coming out. Really? Do you want to try it? Nine to five. Ooh, it's open, guys. It's got the heaviest doors on those, too. Let's try this oh, button. Look, they're optional. Yay. Huh. I'll oppose those things. I don't have to deal with that. Yeah. Hello. Okay, so no photography. Did you bring your book? Ah, oh, it's in the car. Is that it right there? Yeah. All right. We also have me down below at the crack at the uh the memorial plaza we have the both those stamps and the junior ranger stamp down below awesome so if you want if you you know want to go through here and then go down to the plaza you can do that as well so. all right awesome awesome yeah i was going to bring the the live chat in there but we're going to leave them outside for that so, awesome but we'll thanks for the stamp this last thank you <laughs> all right guys do you want to go get your book yeah there's no photography in here unfortunately oh. um we'll have to just do outside I guess. but we'll do outside for now if you guys do want to come and see the visitor center, it's available. It's open. Uh, right here is the hours. Can you see that? Probably not. Nine to five. Nine to five. Sunrise to sunset, the uh, grounds are open. So let's go and try to grab. I'm going to go grab my passport book real quick. Uh, I don't know. It probably has something to do with the nature of the the incident like out of respect right? yeah yeah i guess that makes sense i mean i'm down with that i just didn't know the visitor center had like some kind of little thing inside it well we'll have to check it out and then tell them what we saw yeah we'll look for you guys maybe um uh, now we can't do any behind the scenes footage either i was gonna try but it's just not right just don't feel right but I'm gonna go grab my little passport book. I'm hoping I brought it. Yeah, I don't know. <sighs> I don't know if I got it with me. Here, do you want to show them quick the model of the layout? That's for you. Or oh, look, now if you want to move it around, right? Just keep it set. To click, click, and hold it. This thing. Yeah, click, click. You gotta click, click, and hold. And then if you move it, this oh, way. okay. Nope, you didn't do it. Ready? No, I didn't do Look, it. Look, watch my finger. Click, click, and hold. All right. Click, click, hold. Did I do it? Yes. See, okay. now you can move it. You gotta hold it, though. All right. I gotta hold it. All right. Okay. So this is the model, guys. Can you see that? It's like a little model that shows you everything. can't see the chat, so I don't know if you guys can see this or not. Oh, you're coming in and out a little bit. Gosh. I think we're about two 
And then it tells you here the Tower of Voices is the gentle tones of 40 wind chimes play a tribute to the passengers and crew through sound and create a contemplative space to begin or end a visit. And it just tells you a couple things here about what's on the model here and what's on the path that we're going to be walking. There's the model key for the model. It's really hard to see the screen. It is uh, in Braille as well. Is that what that is? It's Braille, the writing. Oh, okay. <laughs> and then these are all the other different things that we're going to go and look at. Oh, hi. I can see that. Hi, guys. Thanks for coming. Here you go. Got it? All right. So I don't have the passport. You don't. So where do you want to start the walk? If we're here at the visitor center, we want to hit. So we're gonna walk there. Yeah. All right. So I think it goes that way. Yeah, we're gonna go down the path. So where does the path go? Path goes this way. All right. We're going for a walk. Yeah, this place is massive, guys. Uh, I don't think I have more than one on me. Nope, let's see. Uh, get that out of my pocket for me, because I can't. Too much stuff in my hands. You have two. Okay. Yeah, I don't think we're going towards the whole entire site, guys, but we will be checking out a lot of it. Are these stairs to go down and out? Or is it just some like underground base? Like, yeah, oh, underground base to where all the national monument things. What's Brownie up? Morris, thank you very much for the donation. Greatly appreciate it. Oh, thank you guys. Appreciate you. And Cindy Horn as well. Thank you. Yes, thank you, Cindy too. Um, what is that? Monica, hello. Uh, Kim, we are at the Flight 93 Memorial. Of the 9-11 incident uh, we were just taking a look around striker reminded us we were in the area and we were on a covered bridge tour so it has turned out to be an interesting day but we will be uh, walking down the path to see the uh, crash site itself Something happened. I'm not trying to walk all the way that way to get that way. So it's definitely not a good that just watch people walk. I know. It looks like there's another one that goes right over that way. Well, let's try that. We're gonna have to try the uh, easiest route from point A to point B because we can't have Jen walking too much. Yeah. I gotta save her back. Should have brought the little scooter, but it just wouldn't fit in the car. Got an electric scooter at home, but it won't fit. But uh, yeah, guys, if you're liking what you're seeing, hit that like button. Let us know. Show YouTube that we could do other things. Hit some 9-11 memorials, covered bridges, see some old historic sites. They should be promoting this kind of stuff, don't you think? It's history. Yeah. Alright, I feel like there's a trail this way. People were coming up from here. But see, what throws me off is that this overlook spot and uh, this building is like all fenced off. Hiking trail. Field where it happened, you're not allowed to go in. That's down there. Yeah. Oh, is this it? Around the side of this here? Mm -hmm. I see a worn path. Okay. This looks like a beaten path that I'm going to take. Oh, so it goes 
Okay, cool. Thank good, there's Alright. I just wasn't trying what the hell is going on here? Alright, this back path is not open. Alright, whatever. So we're gonna head down the shortcut path. <laughs> no, I'm not the Oh cool, we're gonna go in and out of service too. Yeah, I figured that was gonna Don't look car, Jen. We'll be SOL out here. So we are at the 911 Flight 93 Memorial up in Pennsylvania. Um where that brave crew and uh, passengers took down the plane instead of it hitting its target, which was uh, most likely uh, DC capital. So now we're uh, heading down to the actual crash site. It is a little bit of a hike though, so we're happy that there's a couple benches along the way where we can sit down and hang out. The memorial uh, it's up on the left here. And it is the same place I drove by before and was like, that's probably the place we're going to. I just saw it from a different highway. But it's right up on the hill here. We're gonna be walking adjacent to it. On our little, uh, hike for today this is uh, spontaneous because we were just going to check out some covered bridges and we've been finding a whole bunch of other stuff along the way and it's not every day you're in town where all these brave people sacrifice themselves you need some of that honey I got oh yeah I'm sorry babe look where we are though you're in the middle of these fields So there's the memorial again up there. Yeah, that looks cool. Yeah, I saw it from the highway and I was like, man, those are huge uh, structures and they were flat. And I'm like, they gotta be some kind of memorial. I think that's pokeweed. I do have the identification book in the car. But if I'm right, they have uh, these purple flowers. I'm not positive if it's pokeweed though. I think I'm thinking of something else. Yeah, pokeweed's those white flowers, I think. They should have made this a drive-through. A drive-through? How are you gonna experience all of uh, all of it then? I'm just saying for us. For us, yeah. For us. Old people. people. Yeah. Yeah, striker. Allergies, my eyes are like they just keep watering. Jen's got a lot of stuff going on today. Violets or bluebells? Yes, I've seen the bluebells this year in uh, Vermont. I don't know if it's violets or bluebells or periwinkle. So this uh, illustrates the search for evidence. The investigation of September 11 terrorist attack was recovered at the Flight 93 site. FBI teams launched the investigation while state police provided security. Mining company buildings since removed became their command post. The American Red Cross and the Salvation Army supported this temporary city of more than 1,500 people from 70 federal, state, and local agencies. Recovered weapons, belongings, and the black box recordings linked the Flight 93 hijackers to the International Terrorist Network, Al-Qaeda. While the intensive onset investigation was completed in 13 days, the global investigation of the September 11th attack continues. <coughs> Speaking of, whatever happened to Al-Qaeda, did we get them and uh, take care of that organization for messing with us? Is that all done with now? Was Al-Qaeda all taken out? Just wondering. Oh, look at this little groundhog. Hey, groundhog guy. Where are you going? He 
yeah, Brenda. I saw that. Is your name Phil? I, exactly. I found Phil, guys. Phil Murphy. Ah, <laughs> oh, he is a rodent. Uh-uh, that one's way cooler. Yeah, that, that one is way cooler. Yeah, I was still, still trying to figure out what happened with that Al-Qaeda people. I, I figured we went there and uh, took them all out, but... Who is that? Freedom Patriot Network? Uh, yes. Once we get off, um, you can hit our email up at jerseyj2022 at gmail.com. Um, shoot me an email. Sometimes I don't always get them because I don't always look at my email. But uh, I will definitely check it out tonight for you. I just haven't had very good service lately. Wait a bit. Uh, one of the family members of the passengers and crew of Flight 93 arrived at the crash site in September 2001. Authorities escorted them to this overlook. From a distance, they saw the crash site for the first time and viewed the investigation and recovery operation already underway. Family members left deeply personal messages, mementos, and flowers for their loved ones at a makeshift memorial at the edge of this overlook. The world's lasting impression of the Flight 93 crash site was shaped by the media <clears throat> images and broadcasts from the rich. Today, a large sandstone boulder marks the crash site. <clears throat> Is this the boulder? This would be it. Wow. And then the overlook is over here. I think I'm too close to Mama's nest. crashed back there and then I guess scattered across this part over here. I think that was the sandstone marker. Pretty sure it was. And then this would have been the overlook. I don't think we're walking all the way down there, guys. I don't think I can make that walk, guys. I, And I'm pretty sure that down there, there looks like another boulder, maybe. I have to check it out. That's a long walk. Sorry, guys. We might not be able to do that whole walk Is today. That parking down there? Possibly. a big long bridge over there too oh, yeah, and that's where we were up there earlier I know I know Brenda yeah so if we could all just maybe have a moment of silence for the flight 93 uh, passengers and crew We're going to take a break here on this bench real quick before we head back out. I want to check out the Tower of Voices as well. That looked like a, a good spot to hit. So uh, if you guys are just joining right now, we're at the Flight 93 Memorial in Pennsylvania. We're uh, on 9-11. Those brave souls took down the aircraft because uh, it was headed towards our capital.
Okay. That's train time. I admit that I thought I almost heard the airplane. I could tell why they chose this spot though. It was just the furthest thing away from everybody. You're gonna go down. They had enough sense, you know, they had enough control at least to bring it down out here. Yeah. Couldn't even imagine. Oh, the one throwing the chemtrail out yeah. over us? There's another one. <coughs> There's an old chemtrail right over us, too. I wonder if they have, like, something where if the airplane goes over here, everyone stays on the flight. Yeah, that would be nice. Yeah. A lot of windmills in the distance. How many years ago? Almost more than 20. Yeah. Yeah, it was over 20, 21 years, I think. That was sacrificing yourself for freedom right there. That was absolutely. That was a modern day sacrifice for freedom. An all-out war would have hit if we, they hit that capital, I'll tell you that. Well, it did go all-out war, but we obviously didn't finish the job like we were supposed to. Oh, we still, welcome, still allow these terrorists to run around in our backyard. Thank you for reminding us. I yeah. didn't know that this was out here. Thank you for letting us know this yeah. was here. Oh. That's right. Live free or die, Brenda. There's a lot of people that say it, but it's uh it's going to be a matter of time we find out before we find out who's really about it and who's not. I could say with pride that I'll die for this country. But there's a lot of people out there that just don't know what that sacrifice is going to be like yet. It's going to be scary. It's not going to be fun. People out there wishing for war, wishing that uh we did something more. It's you don't know what you're asking for. That's why we're trying it the peaceful way first, you know? Try diplomacy. But uh, we do have that Second Amendment for a reason. James Wood. I'll check that out, Monica. You want to walk? Are you ready? I'm just waiting now, giving you a break. That's all right. We're going to get to it. We're taking a little uh, fiver right now, catching our breath and yeah, giving ourselves well, a back. The passengers, yeah. What did you have to do? The last time this nation was truly united was 9-12-2001. That's right. Do you guys remember that? The next day after 9-11, the flags, the people on, on the streets. The protesting going on about how we have to take care of that terrorism problem. You know what we didn't have a lot back then? Social media. Yep, no social media, barely. And we, we were still able to get that message out. That's right, 912, we stood together. Is that a quail? I don't know. Whatever it is. They're ground nesting, whatever they whatever are. Whatever it is doesn't like us here. No, nah, it's because we're close to the, the babies. I'm going to come over there and I'm going to see your babies. I'm going to take one home. It's going to be mine. A little baby quail? Quail eggs are good. I'm just kidding. If you're in a survival situation, some quail eggs. We better get back to 912 mentality because we are currently at war with the <laughs> border. Monica, I'm just a nature freak, man. I love all nature, birds, animals. That's right, Plants. All right, buddy. I'm not coming by your babies. I hear ya. I know. Coming right for us. Come here. Come over here. Say bye. I think there's another one. Yeah, they're probably all out in that field. 
What are you doing? Get them. They're having a dog fight in the air, these two little birds. You ready, babe? Yep. All right, let's hike it back up that windy little trail there. Uh, we're going up or are we going to go down a little bit? More? I was going to go up the hill. I was, uh, we got covered bridges to get to, too. Yeah, there's definitely some more clubs here in Monica, but the ladies are. Yeah, she has passed. You could hear her in the background. They're she like, is one pissed little birdie. What they'll do is they'll try to distract you from going near the nest. So they'll, they'll go fly a little bit, act injured, and hit the ground so you kind of chase after them. And once you're far enough away, mama goes back and checks on the babies. Where is the tower though, of voice? That's on the way out. I want to see that. We're going to stop there. We're going to stop at the tower of voice. So this is the actual crash spot. Oh God, with these trails. We're going to stop at the Tower of Voices as well. Yeah, Kim, it was a sad day, 9-11. Yeah, this is a reminder of why we are fighting. They never died in vain. You guys singing for me? Hi, Brady. I sound like a computer really trying to get something done. <laughs> An old school modem dialing up. Field marker. That's a property marker that's in the ground over there. Right. That's what you just found. Yeah, American girl, I love birds too. A lot of different songbirds out here. We had a lot of birds last night at nighttime chirping. It was the weirdest thing. I never heard that before. It's pitch dark and you hear a bunch of birds chirping. Yeah, it was strange. Yes, amen. Keeping your head straight. Oh. Uh, we are at the uh, memorial. For Flight 93, 93 National Park now. And I forgot my passport book at home that I get stamped when we go to all the different parks. So I'm hoping to have the little travel ones. Yes, if you're just joining, we're just trying to show you guys some different history today. Tomorrow we're going to be hitting the Trump rally. So we'll be getting there super early tomorrow. And that'll be an all-day event. Yeah, we'll be on from like 5 o'clock in the morning. It's going to be like a marathon run. Yes, that's, that's right. Shanksville, PA. Shanksville, PA. Yes, honk, honk for freedom, guys. I see a little trail cutting up here. I didn't see that earlier. You want to take a little side trail? Shorten these uh, 15 curves to get down here. He's in Trump tomorrow. He's, uh, he's in uh, Greensburg, PA at the Westmoreland Fairgrounds. And if you want to come to the rally, you got to reserve tickets on the website. That's where most face diapers end up, guys, on the ground. I pick it up, but it's not sanitary. Because if it was as bad as they say it is, those masks should have special uh, containment units like you have for uh, dirty needles. Should have the same exact kind of thing. Awesome American girl. What is that? Big chunk of metal. 
Getting old, guys. Yeah, I know. It is disrespectful. And of all places, right? Sorry, Kim. I, I think I missed your comment. Was Kevin your Our hearts go out to everybody who lost somebody on 9-11 or due to the 9-11 uh, cancers that popped up from. We don't have those. So when you take your mask off and you throw it on the ground at the supermarket parking lot and the poor kid that does carts picks it up and goes to throw it out for you, you could have possibly just given that guy COVID. Making your mask wearing inefficient and unnecessary at that point. There's a Towson U alum in that plane wreck. Towson uh, University alumni? Oh. So we are going to head down towards the Tower of Voices. Yeah, you can drive there, right? Yeah. And you said there was stuff down by the Tower of Voices, right? I think so. Whew. Let's go do that then. We're going to see. It. Can you look on that map and see if it tells you where they are? Because I did see the little plaque that tells you what it is. There's some other chunks of sandstone that uh, look like they came from the same quarry as the other one. I found the car. I'm going to find something to drink in here too. All right, you're still on here, guys. Don't worry. Just uh, getting a view. Hold on. Cigarettes on you? You need one all the time. Sorry guys, gotta keep uh, moving you around here a little bit. I thought we bought two packs yesterday. Yes. Alright, well, we gotta find a spot to get cigarettes now. That's cool. Okay, guys. We are now going to be heading down to the Tower of Voices. What happened? Quit Labor Day 20, 20, 35 years. Y'all need, need to quit. What? Yep. Y'all need to quit what? Smoking. Oh, hey, yeah. Man. Wow, I'm sorry. Yeah, Monica, I, uh, you know, out of everything I've ever done in my life, uh, cigarettes is probably the most mild. And, uh, you know, we're working on it every day, trying to cut down. I mean, I went from like two and a half packs a day to like barely a pack with her splitting it. So. We are working on it. I'm not gonna quit cold turkey. I uh, have too much stress in my life right now to be going off on everybody every 30 seconds because I don't have a cigarette. But yeah, I definitely um, 
feel you. I mean, I, my body feels it every day. Trust me. It's not something I like going through. But, yeah. That's definitely something we're working on. You guys can tell I'm working on my swearing. A bunch of stuff, right? Go look at my earlier video. Yeah. Maybe that's the road that goes to the um, actual memorial where the names are. Yeah, I think so. Documentary yet. Uh, unfortunately, usually, guys, you got to remember, we're out on the road. So my battery power is saved nine times out of ten for streaming. So I got to charge battery packs. I have to make sure all my stuff is set up correctly. So that's where most of my power goes. I don't get to really watch anything else or do anything else on my phone or computer until everything else is set up. So. See, I walked by the mask. Now, look what happened. No, I think it's allergies. It's getting me all messed up today. Yep, one day at a time. That's all you can do. Congrats to everybody out there uh, who quit, though. B, what's going on? Yes, we are out having fun today. We are traveling around and checking out some sites in the area. We just happened to stumble upon the Flight 93 uh, Memorial and Crash Site. Thank you. I appreciate that, uh, that help, guys. That support there. So... Oh, they're taking pictures too. That's the cool bridge I was going to show you guys right there. It's a cool little walking bridge. I don't know. We were going down to the bottom of where we were. No problem, Darlies, Dunham, uh, Orioles fan. I apologize for the video quality. Uh, keep in mind, we're in the uh, outskirts of Pennsylvania, where we don't normally have service, and I'm using Jen's Wi-Fi. So I'm gonna, we're gonna park it up over here, and we're gonna head over to this spot that we haven't been to yet. Uh, I can't. We can't park there. We gotta park that little spot over there. Those are some more bathrooms and stuff. Yeah, more bathrooms. Uh, oversized vehicle parking. All right, we're making our way slowly but surely over to the parking spots here. And. We're here. All right, I'm getting out. I'm getting out here. Ugh. Oh God, I keep picking stuff up with the tripod. And there isn't any more smokes in the car, huh? Well, that's awesome. Guess we're not having a cigarette for a little bit, guys. So. I think I'm just going to keep this tripod back at the car for now. Right there. Sounds good. All right. So the crash site is over here. It says crash site. So there's a good possibility I did not have the crash site uh, originally. All right. Jen! Hey, Jen! 
We're already halfway here. Come on. Got Jersey Jen back with us now. Memorial Plaza and crash site. And there are people over here. Thank you, Flora. Yeah, sorry guys, I'm not looking at the chat really right now. I'm kind of like watching where I'm going, what I'm doing. Oh, I see. That's that's what the rock looks like where the crash site was. So we're about to see that. How's the footage, guys? Is it still really blurry or what? I don't know if the footage got any better. And that would be the flight path that the airplane took. And as you could see, it took off from nowhere else but Newark, New Jersey, headed out west. Got around the Lake Erie, took a right-hand turn or a left-hand turn and started heading back in the direction of Washington, D.C., which is right there. That would have been a straight line almost to where they were going. But it was stopped by the brave people who were riding on the inside of the plane. So they fought back. And that's what happens when you fight back. You save other lives. Because imagine how many other lives would have been lost if this plane hit a city. A lot of people in that picture. I'm going to take you guys through here a little without saying too much.
They have a tour going on. So again, guys, that's a long walk over there. I could see the sandstone rock from here. There's the boulder in the middle of the screen there. That's right, Brenda, the government did fail them. And now instead of, instead of carry, uh, catching terrorists, we go after our own people. No. What's in there? I think some kind of mold. What it is. I'm not sure though. You can see through the glass. Let's see. The other vaults that are around the boulder. I think it's open it? Let's see. So guys, we could leave a message here. If you guys are wondering what I'm doing, I'm doing this for my passport. I'm getting all the stamps because I don't have my passport with me. So, what is this? May 05. It's upside down. I put it upside down. That's okay. I got a map and my stuff for the passport. Uh, this is where people are leaving messages here. Jen's leaving a message for us. I did it the right way. All right, guys, so we're at the Flight 93 Memorial. And sorry about the footage. But we just left a message. And my gimbal's playing tricks on me today.
Well, we officially seen the crash site of Flight 93 together, guys. Uh, thanks for everybody came, coming into the room and hanging out for a little bit. Appreciate it. We're now going to be uh, continuing our tour down to the Tower of Voices, right? Yeah, I'm not trying to see what Yeah. So from here... Memorial Plaza. That's from Memorial Plaza. We need to go to uh, Tower of Voices. And I was able to get my stamps for my passport. I just have to place them into the book. Of course. I'm happy to just uh, be able to say I've been here. Back in the car we go. Put my stuff in the door so it doesn't get all ruined. We have so many maps and, and literature from all these state parks, and all these places we've been to. All right, so what do we got going on here, guys? Uh, Orioles fan, yes, this is my first time here. We didn't even know we were here until uh, Stryker. Thank you. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Hi. Uh, Jersey J on YouTube. Jersey J on YouTube. Yes, ma'am. Can, can I ask you guys real quick a couple questions? Sure. Uh, where are you guys from here? We're from Pennsylvania, and you're from? We're from Oxford, Mississippi. Oxford, Mississippi. Home and of the university. And oh, this yes. is, is this your first time over here to Flight 93? Yes, it is. All right. Have you guys heard about the uh, convoy, the trucker convoy that's going across the country? No. You haven't? No. Well, let me educate you guys. We are out here. Um, we're supporting the convoy. We're out here trying to um, get the message out about your rights and um, how we're basically being trampled on by our government and um, they're overreaching too much into our lives. So we're trying to educate everybody about the laws that are being passed and the bills and uh, everything that's going on. And we're just ultimately trying to fight for our freedom. So um, any any uh, thoughts on that? Hey. Good luck. Thank you. We appreciate <laughs> it. Yes. No problem. Yes. Thank you guys. But yeah, um, if you guys ever want to come out, we'll be in the uh, Hagerstown area in Maryland. You guys can come out and hang out with us for a little bit and, and see what it's all about. What did our forefathers say? Don't tread on me. Exactly, ma'am. <laughs> exactly. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Have a great day. Yes. Awesome. Don't forget Jersey J on YouTube. Jersey J on YouTube. We'll spread the word. Awesome, Thank guys. You. you were filming something with all of the... <laughs> yeah, I know. The tripods and all that stuff. Have a great day, guys. All right. God bless America. God bless America. Freedom. I don't have it. Oh man, I don't have my horn on a stick. Nope. Damn, that would have been oh, perfect. Darn guys. I don't think horn on a stick would have been good right now anyway, because uh, I am at a national yeah, memorial. I think that would be a little bit. Uh, and blowing my horn on a stick would probably be a little disrespectful. Yeah. I don't know what you guys think. I think it would be. I think so. But uh, yeah, we're trying to. Uh, be out here educating people get a couple little interviews of what's going on you know try to tell everybody what's going on with the convoy what we're out here for I wasn't expecting to do that so I was kind of on the spot and I wasn't really prepared for questions ah darn it Jen darn it. I, just I can't remember everything son of a biscuit eating bulldog we'll give, we'll give the next one. there's that cute little bridge over there again oh cord Horn on a stick. I'll just say it when I can't blow it. We're just put the emojis up. That everyone that's got the horn on a stick. Emoji. Yeah, throw up that emoji. Honk honk. Honk honk. 
That oh, looks like planting, Wizzy's truck. Didn't that look like Wizzy Wig's truck? It did. That was funny. Imagine if Chris was out here slinging landscape right now. Nah, that guy's got a good channel. He doesn't have to worry about uh, breaking his ass. Banging it right. Begin one way. All right, we're on a one way. This is like a tiny little golf cart road. Oh my God. Little pine trees out here, a little pine forest growing back. You can see it was all planted. This is a reforestation area. They're replanting, they replanted all these pine trees out here. It's amazing how much work must have went into replanting this area. And in 40, 50 years, guys, your kids will be out here camping. They'll make campsites all through here. RVs and dump stations and general stores. But they got to wait for the trees to grow up a little so they can chop them down. I don't think they're going to do that. No, they don't chop them down in National Forest. But they'll, they'll do a little campground or something out here eventually. There's plenty of room for it. So we are back going down towards, there's the Tower of Voices all the way down there. Well, this says the exit. There's like an exit in, out and there's an exit towards the tower I saw. So I'm hoping this goes towards the tower. Let me know, guys, if you know. We haven't been up here ever. So if you're just joining us, we were just at the Flight 93 crash site uh, and Memorial in Pennsylvania. This is... Uh, what was this? Oh, Shanksville. Shanksville, Pennsylvania. Shankstown. Shankstown, Shanksville. Shanksburg. Sorry, uh, We're butchering it. I'm sorry. All right. So, how do we get to the tower? Oh, there's a sign. What does that sign say, Jennifer? Memorial Plaza Visitor Center. Exit. Exit. Say anything about this Tower right. of Voices. I don't understand. Tower of Voices. Well, we passed it on the way in. It's right there. It's right there on the right. I wonder if it's closed. I don't know. I saw a road for the exit, but it's I did said, not see the entrance. It said future on it. Like it was ready to be in the future. The future? It's going to be ready in the future? Yes. I wonder if we could time travel there. We are rolling up on it though, so we will get to see it. Up close is still an option. We don't know yet. I'm trying to be positive about this today. Going to show you guys some sites you've never seen before, stuff we've definitely never seen before. Oh, is that the Freedom Cell Tower there? It's a cell tower in the distance. We don't need a park headquarters. We need the Tower of Voices. That's what we need. We did have a few supporters in the parking lot though. They uh they saw all the stuff going on with my filming equipment and they knew that we were doing something over here. Alright, so that's what I saw earlier was do not enter. Yeah. Alright, so there's gotta be another There's room. gotta be an entrance. That's the exit. But there's the tower. Now headed to the Tower of Voices at the Flight 93 Memorial in Pennsylvania, Shanksville. I think it's Shanksville. Shanksville or Shankstown. 
keep your head straight. You heard that lady? She said, don't tread on me. You gotta love it. My cord keeps getting pulled out of my pocket. Rolling in right from here. Bam. It looks like we found it, guys. I think it's supposed to have chimes in it or something. It makes like a good chime. Yeah? Not, I, that, that's what I thought I read. Interesting. It could be. Well, let's walk through the maze. Unless that's, that looks like a little trail right there. I think we're gonna walk up the right way though. So this is the Tower of Voices, guys, over here in uh, Shanksville, PA, at the 9-11 Flight 93 Memorial and Crash Site. Coralie's fan says there's actual live camera footage on this. Is there? Yeah. Can we live footage the live footage? Oh, it's right there. There's the camera right there, guys. He's watching us and the live cam at the same time. He waves at the camera. I'm gonna. <laughs> You're probably not gonna see us on that camera, though, I don't think. Oh, the mowers are on the other side of the tower. We're coming up from the opposite end. But that's what you're watching. If you're watching live cam right now, for this, uh, for the for the Tower of Voices, then that's what you're watching right there for the life life cam, Earth cam. It says Earth cam on the thing. Yes, Freedom Patriot. I did speak to Nicole, and uh, I do know about the location, but they're not giving out any other information until uh, everything's signed and ready to go. How are you? So does anyone know if this thing goes off at a certain time? Because it looks like it's hydraulically powered or something. Maybe not? I don't know. How does it work? They look like wind blades in the middle of it. Hey, we're on Earth Cam. What's up, Earth Cam? Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Jersey J on YouTube. <laughs> Earth Cam up. That's my first time on Earth Cam, I think, too. That's cool. If anybody's wondering what they're talking about, it's earthcam.net. And you can actually see the exact spot I'm at right now. You can see me foot filming at the tower and the chemtrails above us. Yeah. There's a really strange noise from over here. Yeah, I know. I just found them all on my arm. Yeah, get a pic of me at the uh, Earth Cam. Freedom! 
Found this little bench here. We're going to kick it out for a second. Man, why you gotta freak me out, man? Oh, there was though. There was like 12 spiders on that bench. Cool. They really like this place for some reason. Weird. There's just spiders everywhere. With baby spiders. Huh. Crazy. So here we are, guys. Tower of Voices at the 9-11 Flight 93 Memorial and Crash Site in Pennsylvania. Yeah, Monica, I don't know what's up with the spiders. I don't know either. There was a lot of them over in, uh, in Maryland, too. I have webs all over me, though. All right, guys, we're going to get out of here and get back to our covered bridge store uh, tour. Monica says they like radiation. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, live cam. Bye, guys. We're going to keep our live cam going, though. There's the earth cam. That's the eye in the sky. Big brother watching you right there. We're gonna head back out to the vehicle. Uh, I was gonna cut through the lawn, just don't want to, huh? Website to hear the wind chimes. Cool. I'm gonna it's pretty cool. Out later, see if I can hear them. Anybody ever hear them go? Thank you, Brenda, for putting that up. Yes, thank you, Brenda. And also, thank you, Monica. Thanks, Mods. You guys are awesome. So are all the supporters too. We love you all. Yeah, thanks for putting all those uh, support connections up there, those sites. Appreciate that. Remember, the American Freedom Convoy uh, is it just a, a startup organization, legitly. They just started legitly. Uh, they had something going before, but all their donations ended up with TPC. So if you guys could help donate to their cause so they can get that location secured and keep it going so everyone has a location to go to, um, that would be really greatly helpful. Uh, if there's anybody that I would donate to right now, it would be them. So they get that soup kitchen up and running. So back in the Freedom Mobile. All right. Oh, had to get our alarm too. Love when you walk by a vehicle and people lock it like you're gonna steal something out of it. Lady, I got $100,000 worth more stuff in my car than your car. What do you want now? Not 100000 obviously, but... Nothing. Good. Uh, are we going to do a new spot? Should I put in the next covered bridge? Pretty much, yeah. Alright, we're putting the next covered bridge in here. Covered bridge tour. Our next covered bridge. That is gonna be right here. The new Baltimore covered bridge. 
So we're going to come out, leave here, and making a right out of this place. All right. Uh oh, what happened? Hold on a minute. Let me make sure my volume's up so I can hear my directions. And we're on the road again. Orioles, yes, we hit that covered bridge. We're now headed towards another one. Um, oh, this will only be our third covered bridge on the tour so far, huh? Yep. We got distracted a little bit with uh, a cool place here. This is the Flight 93 Memorial and Crash Site from 9-11 uh, when the terrorist uh, took over the plane that was, that was turned around and uh, then headed towards DC as a terror plot. The passengers and crew on that plane took control of the aircraft and saved thousands of people, potentially, by not letting that plane crash into uh, Washington, D.C. that day. All the flights were, yeah, the, 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 sky, was, the sky was clear. After that, there were no airplanes in the air after that crash. Everybody was uh, grounded. So now we are headed back up the highway, everybody. We're on Highway 30 over in PA here. Uh, if we look out to the side, you can kind of see what I saw when we were driving the first time, which is the, uh, the crash site. I didn't realize we were so close to it earlier. So we're back on the road, guys. Headed towards our next covered bridge. And possibly some more history. Look at that highway ahead of us, Jeff. That is just seven miles of up and down hilly straightaway. Do you guys see that? Look at that highway. It just keeps going and going and going and going. I feel like I'm on a roller coaster. Uh, keep your head straight. Nah, I take it personal. It's always when I'm standing directly next to the car. And I got a giant American flag blasted across the hood of my car. I'm the one guy in the parking lot that will hurt somebody for trying to break in your vehicle. I kind of take it offensively. I run around with a Punisher shirt on. <laughs> I just scream freedom fighter, you know. But it is what it is, man. It's okay. I don't really get too tore up about it. I already forgot about that, to be honest with you. Hey, horsies. Look at the horsies. Maybe we could find somewhere that has bread. I'm still looking for a bread spot. Because I'd like to go for a uh, the Lincoln Cafe. Try it. Park right out front, right in the side. Like Why not? It has a sign outside. No parking. Okay, go that way there. That looks like parking. Hey, parking. This is Dub Stance. Dub Dub Stance. Old fashioned country store. Moccasins and sandals. Groceries and candy. We can get groceries, a hunting license, and some freaking moccasins in the same spot. All right, so you're gonna hang on to this camera real quick while I go get bread. Do you want anything else? Here you go. Nope, you're I good. got some iced tea already. Coffee. Unless they have some old fashioned candy you think would like. Old fashioned what? Candy you think we'd like. I'll let you go in now. Nah, I don't wanna go in. I don't wanna go in. Hey guys, honey. Yeah, we have a lot of honey. We just got a big thing of honey with the honeycomb in it from this really cool place I put up there. It's called uh, the Lion's Potter, I believe. It was Gettysburg, PA. They have all kinds of stuff. They have honey. They have homemade jam. I have this homemade jam. It's like apple pie jam. Oh, it is so good. I'm going to eat some of that later on some bread. 
Can't wait for that. Yeah, he's got raw honey. I don't call Jay honey anyway. I call him babe or hey you. Get over here. <laughs> Horse drawn buggies. Really? I'll have to keep my eye out for that one. I'm going to keep my eye out for those harsh drawn buggies. Uh, whoa! My phone is dying. Cool. Didn't catch on to that just till just now. Gonna have to plug that in. What is this plugged into? Are we plugged into something? Every time I'm trying to do something gotta be like part of a battery pack or I don't know something crazy season's greeting where's your convoy PA in Amish country especially around Lan Lancaster Denise is that Denise Dennis our convoy uh, the American Freedom Convoy is in Maryland they actually did get a location um, that they're they're getting to sign the lease for um, I do not know the location on it yet, but I do know that they are getting a permanent location. And when we find out that information and I get the okay from Nicole, I'll let you know about that. Uh, we will be seeing them again at some point, uh, but we are not with them right now. Is that? Uh, I do have a car charger. I just put it on. Now. I just found it. Jay likes to steal all my chargers and use them for his for his big pa uh, battery packs. We got oh yeah there's a lot of Amish people yeah Hagerstown we did love going I, I had a good time there I can't say I didn't I've met a lot of nice people a lot of people that I I still hope do come back at some point so I get to see them again um, what babe it's a cool store man yeah. What'd you get in there? I got bread. I got some yeah. raisinette things. Ooh. And I got some of these gobs. Ooh. Not sure what they are. I'm about to try one of those out. What other candy do they have? They got a bunch do of Do they have anything candy. sweet? It's a $10 minimum on the card, so I had to buy a bunch of stuff to no, get No, I'm good. I'm good. They didn't have anything else I needed, so I have to go to another store. Oh, you're wondering what to do with your rig? Um... I'm pretty sure that you could probably come to uh, Nicole's new spot. Yeah, at Witcher Rig. Yeah. I don't see why not. That's what we got the spot for. Yeah, so we can fit the trucks and bobtails. So if you guys are in the area, check out this old-fashioned country store over here. Pretty sweet little spot. Like people are inside, like actually shopping for cowboy boots and stuff. It's Someone like. Says we're in Amish country, so we have to watch out for the horse and buggies. Yes. This is an old house. They could use a little remodel. Call me. No, I'm just kidding. Old fashioned hospitality. I like that. It says it on the sign. That's nice. You don't get that a lot in Jersey. Here's think. our uh, 20 mile road. We gotta stop at a, a different store, I guess. Yeah, like a gas station or something. Uh, but we have bread, so I can actually make some some sandwiches in a little bit. Okay, we're talking about getting raw honey, but we already have honey. So let's tell them about the lion potter. Oh, we yeah. Lion I took that leak up a, a, a little bit ago, but I forget exactly what it is. I'll have to look at it again. I'll get that to you guys again. Um. No. That's what it looks like. 
It does look like a moon pie, but. that this thing tastes like the pound cake things that you get in the military oh, yeah. and the MREs yeah. like they're super super dry they don't like it okay. well I mean it's not it's not horrible it's just that's one of those snacks you just, I don't know I don't not my cup of tea did I try some of those raisins yeah I was gonna break those out Probably work. Yeah. Yeah, Shane. Where do you park? Right here? Sure. <laughs> All right. He has a, he must be at a medical office maybe because he had a hairnet on, a face mask. No, I'll be right back. Be, are you going in? Yep. Okay. Do you need anything warm in here? Oh, she's Amish. I'm yes. sorry. I totally, yes. totally misjudged that one. From over here. I think she's Mennonite because she's driving, right? Isn't that what that means? No. No, that's a bad dating site. We don't go to those. Bye bye. Bye bye. Report for porn. Bye bye. All right. Where the hell did I just put those raisinets? Here's the raisinets. We got a bag of them. And now, bam. Chocolate covered raisins. Sorry, not raisinets. I do know. We need to open the damn windows in this car because it's hot. These are really good raisin things, though. Mm-hmm. I might have to run back in and grab something to drink. Hey, babe. Bye. I need a drink. You want to try one of these moon pie things? No. Oh, here, they're super good. Oh, I didn't realize you had a drink. Mm -hmm. I grabbed it before. You're so smart, babe. Yep. Amish lady's super nice. She was smiley. Oh, yeah? Smiley, smiley, smiley. Dude, it was so funny. They had a brick and Morty thing in there. It was hilarious. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I was going to take a picture of it and show it to you, but I didn't have my phone. I'm a Rick and Morty fan. Oh, and they had bread in there for 99 cents. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Cool. I just spent two something on my bread. Well, it's supporting a local place. So I like to support little local businesses. Yeah. Ah. All right. All right, on the road again. This time, no more stops. All right, we're stopping at the next covered bridge, darn it. Well, yeah, darn. 15 minutes. <coughs> Excuse me. These are good raisin now. It's 15 minutes to the next covered bridge.
Oh, there's a sports bar down there. Sub Hub. Not even sure what that was. Sandwich place. Was it? Sub Hub is a sandwich place. Oh. Well, thanks for staying for the ride, guys. We are currently going out looking at covered bridges today and finding whatever we find in between. So far it's been a, a tank, a helicopter, and a Flight 93 Memorial, as well as covered bridges. And I have my phone on a tripod while I get to rest my arm for five minutes. So don't mind the shakiness, I apologize beforehand. Uh, and again, if the service cuts out, Keep in mind, we will be back. It's just temporary. <coughs> That's a lot of windmills. They're good, right? on the road so we saw some cool windmills add cool windmills to the story today hold on one sec guys I gotta blow my nose I went to go mute This one of those roads you stay on your road. Look at that fog coming back there. It's huge. Okay. Oh, that we don't type out. Help! Whoa! We're now three minutes from our destination, guys. I apologize. So we're two minutes away from the bridge, guys. Our next covered bridge. And then, after this one, they're gonna go quick. They're gonna be like every 10 minutes. Once we leave one, there'll be one like five minutes after. Getting close. Appreciate everybody sticking around the room.
borough of New Baltimore. So we're now in the borough of New Baltimore, everybody. We're gonna be checking out our next covered bridge, which is less than a minute away. Ooh, I'm getting happy. Yeah, waving at the guys in the front lawn drinking a beer. I know, I was just thinking, I'm like, that's the place I would hang out. The little dive bar down. That's probably like the, the most happening place. Yeah, we're making a left right here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And there's a memorial for those who served. I think we're going over this one, babe. What do you think? Baltimore, New Baltimore Bridge. 1879. We've seen a bridge with similar construction earlier today. The first bridge we saw. All right. I would go up a little bit and maybe turn around this this spot where you pull in. Yeah, and then up. Sorry about the U-turn in your driveway. All right, so Jen, if you just want to pull to the side over here, right here is good. I want to get out and do a little footage of it. See if there's a little plaque or something. Here. All right, I'll be here. Are you today in here for this one? In case you got to move, yeah. All right, guys, the new Baltimore Bridge in uh, New Baltimore. The borough of New Baltimore. Give you a little idea of what we're working with here. See, I'm doing these because I'm going to go back later and get a couple still shots. Is it haunted? I don't know. I don't know. Anybody see any freaky stuff in the footage? Any orbs? I know my ears pop like crazy. Pretty cool old bridge though. So I'm gonna wait for this van to go by and then I'm gonna go take a walk through. The New Baltimore Bridge, 1879. And here is the little body of water it crosses. All right, Jersey Jen, if you're watching and can hear me, if you want to just come across the bridge after me. Oh, I bet there's trout in there, B. And if uh, I had any bait, I would definitely go fishing. But I don't have too much stuff with me today. So this is Somerset County Bridge number five, New Baltimore. And uh, I guess it was reconstructed in 1998, it says constructed in 1988. Uh, its original construction was in 1879 by an unknown builder. The New Baltimore Covered Bridge is an example of multi King Post style truss. The bridge was damaged by a flood of water um, on January 19th, 1996. This bridge is a replica of the original structure. I don't know if Jen can see this, but come over here. What are you doing? All right. So maybe Jen will figure out what she's doing and come over. There she goes. She must have been busy doing something. All right. So if anybody's in interested in this bridge, 
It's even got a QR code, this covered bridge. So scan that guy for more information. Do not block stream flow. Hey, Jersey Jen. All right. I hurt. Let's see. So, we're going from here to the next one. Give me two seconds to set up my stuff because I gotta get back in line here. Now we go from here. This is what I've been doing, is going like this, that. Click on that, and now we're here. We're gonna go up and start this tour here. Okay. So we're gonna go to this one. First, Turner's. So we are on our way to Turner's Covered Bridge. It is a 10 minute ride approximately to the Turner's Covered Bridge. We are leaving now. Take the next New left Baltimore Covered Street. Bridge. We're making our way to uh, Turner's Covered Bridge. I think you're all right, Jen. I'm not sure, but I'm, I'm pretty sure the traffic around Continue here is two miles. It's us. We are the traffic. We're the whole traffic. Covered bridge. <laughs> it's gonna be ten minutes away. So hang in for another ten minutes, and you'll get to see our live tour of Turner's covered bridge. And if you guys are wondering what we're doing today, we're just trying to give you guys a little tour of the local areas we stay in and the cool little features they got. A lot of truckers out on the highway today. Honk, honk. There's a horse. They got barrels. Racing barrels. I had Princess doing that pretty good. My first time ever doing that. I remember Princess. She was a good horse. Johnny was a good horse too. I'm sorry we lost him. He was cool. I remember Johnny. about that whole other side of the road. We're literally the only car on the road. <laughs> that guy had to go around. Hey, good for you, man. I don't live around here. We're not going to break any of the speed laws. <coughs> this reminds you of a Clint Eastwood movie? Awesome. Except we're not on a horse. We only got about 90 horsepower in this guy. 91 on a good day with the wind to our back. We got the Freedom Civic is what we got. Freedom! I don't even know if it's taking a right. I think it just goes right. Yeah. I love it. I love all the water features PA has, and like the water is like clean, it's not a, uh, you know, you can eat the fish out of it, you don't have to worry about getting like radiation poisoning from some power plant down the road. Wow, that tree took out eight cars. There's a tree down right here, it took out like eight cars, crazy. Sorry, just wanted to show you. Continue on Pennsylvania 31 
Huh? Oh, really? Alright, Gimbal's doing its gravity to find motions today. Hey, everybody, for coming back. Thank you. We are we're losing service here and there, but we're doing a covered bridge tour around Pennsylvania. And we got to see the 9-11 Flight 93 uh, Memorial and Crash Site today. Thank you, Stryker, for reminding us. And thank you to the rest of the room, too, who was on board with going there. Somewhere I've never been before, or Jen. But we're cruising our way down eight minutes to our next covered bridge. We're going past a uh, tilled field. I love checking out freshly tilled fields for uh oh it's a it's a woodchuck oh, just, just missed him by a smidge. really yeah. Aww. little woodchuck out there trying to get some food anyway i like uh checking freshly tilled fields for arrowheads and artifacts from native americans that's like my thing i like doing that it's one of my hobbies Along with metal detecting too. Making our way to the next destination. I think it's called Turner's Covered Bridge. And we got about six more after that. And after we're done with covered bridges, you guys are going to take a break with us because Jen's going to need a little break for that two hour ride home we're going to have back to the campsite. So we want to give Jen a little break on her back and her neck. We did a little walking earlier, got some PT in today. I'm always good for getting Jen to walk somewhere. Her doctor's like me. Trying to get her back on the track here, right, Jen? She hates it, but it's all for you guys. Jen pushes through for you. She really does. Because if it was just for me, she'd be like, hell no, we're not going there today. Are you crazy? I'm like, but live. The live chat wants to go and see it. She goes, okay. <laughs> yeah, I got him. Got the truck to honk. I don't have my horn on a stick to answer back though. So I'm doing this little video on the side at the campground, guys. Uh, that's going to be available for the members only. Where I'm doing a wood carving of a sign that says the Jersey Jays, and uh, it's going to be in front of our campsite. So I'm going to hang it from our little post when we show up at a new campsite. Boom. Gonna hook it up. Brenda Bridge got the emojis up there. Thank you, Brenda. Thank you. I don't know about you guys, but I'm having a fun day today. It's nice out. I wasn't expecting it to be this nice. Honestly, I thought it was gonna be uh, kind of crummy out today, but it's actually turned out to be a wonderful day. Yeah. I, I, just the rain is too much, man. Just two months, two months of rain. Too much. Hey, it's a tractor on a stick. <laughs> Someone's got a tractor on a stick. These guys are already kicking it. Knocking down those buds. Buena Vista. That said no swimming. Yeah, you're not gonna find me swimming in that that crazy log infested down tree swimming hole that they got over there. End up getting snapped up by a snapping turtle turtle. What did I say a turtle? I think I'm just gonna take a break talking for a little bit. 
Jersey Jen, what do you want to tell the chat today? What time is it? Yeah. Oh, wow. Somebody really hit that one. Yeah, somebody went through that into the woods. Sorry for the shakiness, guys. I'm going to give my arm a break for five minutes. And uh, the gimbal is going to do its own thing. It's going to sway. It's going to turn one direction or the other. See, it's going right. All right. And then it's going to go turning sideways. That, there we go. Let's see how good the gimbal can do without me. What you got, gimbal? Think you can do my job? <laughs> Today is for sure cut your grass day. Wow, look at that view coming over the mountain. Damn, I might have to regain control of this. Oh, uh, we're going past cow fields and an awesome, well-maintained farm. Beautiful farm, absolutely. Family farm. Fair family farms. The triple F. Uh, this is where things are going to get hairy for the gimbal. Watch this. I'm just not going to control it at all. Here we go. Oh, we're one minute away from our bridge. Look at that. I talked my way right through that one. I know. I picked all the good roads for Jen today. She loves these roads. You can tell by the look on her face. <laughs> oh, she loves me. The car loves me too. We're not beating the car up. Oh, this is an old one. Look at this guy coming up. See it in the distance, guys? Look at that. It's got to avoid the potholes from hell over here. Watch out, little birdie. Ow. The birds are all out. doing my best to hold this damn thing steady, but to no avail. It's not happening. So, can we park on the side of this one? I mean, it looks like we're going to have to go over it. But, ooh. Yeah. Looks like it's... It's a going over bridge. It is? You've arrived. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Are you sure? Oh, it's definitely go over the bridge. Hell yeah. Oh yeah, check this out. This doesn't get any more sketch than this, guys. That was a sketchy one. Yay. All right, park right over here. We'll go take a little tour. Yeah, right? Brenda's like, we're going mud bogging. <laughs> yeah, right? I'm happy we didn't end up in the river. All right. Oh, God. Jesus. Help me. Help me. All right, here we go. I'm too old to be making all these noises. See, this is a nice little spot here. I could dig this. This is what we got. Look at this road going into it, though, man. It is not. Yeah, I looked for some morels uh, yesterday, Stu. I didn't find any. I did find some uh, some other mushrooms. I'll show you guys when I get back to camp. They're like a cousin to the chicken in the woods. They're not exactly, I think they're called, uh, I gotta remember, I can't remember right now. Anyway, we're off topic. This is the bridge. So I'm gonna do a little walkie walk. Got a nice little river going underneath this one. And then of course we got the little vandalism. Someone had to be a dick. There's even real life trolls out there, guys, that do stuff like that. This is a nice open walled covered bridge. It's got the same uh, truss system as that other one we were at. There was two of them we were at like that today. You ready? I'm going to go to this side, see if we can find some kind of placard or something. I don't see anything. Nada. 
Nada, just farm. Oh, here we go. Buford County Bridge. Edford County Bridge, sorry. Okay, we got Psalm 145, 18. The Lord is near to all who call on him, to all who call on him in faith. There we go. See that? We got a little unexpected treat everywhere we go today. Everywhere we go. I hope everybody's enjoying the video today. We're doing a little covered bridge tour around Pennsylvania. And Jennifer is not too happy about the locations we are going to. Some of the roads are a little bad. And we do need the Civic to get around. Super cool. All right, guys. That was, I gotta remember the name of this bridge. Hold on. That was, what bridge? Turner's. Turner's. Turner's, Turner's Covered Bridge, guys. Turner's Covered Bridge. Now keep in mind, most of the links to these locations are in my description of this video. So if you wouldn't want to know where we are and what we're doing today, that is pretty much where we're at. Next one we're going to is Calvin Covered Bridge. Calvin Covered Bridge. And we got to go. Gotta nope, it looks like we can go through here. Oh, here, you can use that. That's just, that's the phone. You need that thing. All right, here we go. Put this back in here real quick. Let's go to Brenda Bridge. <laughs> <laughs> Brenda Bridge, we love you. Oh, this is a turn the hell around. You can't go through here spot. Fantastic. Rut row, Shaggy. I think we made a wrong turn in Albuquerque. Well, guess what, Jen? We got to do the covered bridge again! She's not really a big fan of going over these. I'm glad we didn't come over with all of our camping gear in this thing. We might have uh, tipped the scales. No, probably not. Just get yeah, go for it. Yeah, that's it. That a girl. Stay on those big ramps. Awesome, guys. Awesome. I love little covered bridges. They're fun. In a quarter mile, turn right onto Pennsylvania 31 West. Atta girl. You done did it. I, I'm glad it didn't make little crinkly, like cranky. Oh, like, like it was going to crack? Yeah, like that noise. Like no. That. All right, I'm going to let you guys get the full experience. This is gimbal at its finest here. Hold on. I'm going to center it up for a second. Help you out. Oh really? I think the bird was yelling at me. They're all mad. They're mad because they're making the move. You don't hear them squawking? That one's just singing. It's happy. It's happy we just ran over its worm. He was squawking at me. Get off my road. Uh -huh. Say, oh, get out of here. All right, so pull to the right right here. Right like that, that's good. Oh, wait, ah, okay, totally different psych. Jen got psyched out by, say, by the UPS truck. I was thinking about something like, he's gotta go over that bridge. Oh, babe. 
Yeah, he's not going over any. I don't think anybody else besides us has gone down that road, probably. There's a house a back there. Time. I know, but that's just that's just a factory. Continue on Pennsylvania 31 West for one and So that's where the bridge looks like from out here. Oh, now the now you can't see. You can be able to see right now. It's all the way out there in the middle of the screen. Got a hell of an operation going. Moo! Moo! She said no. She shook her head at me. No. She said, Stop talking to that nasty mess. For all I know, I'm yelling. I'm like. For all I know, I'm swearing at the cow in cow language. Moo! They're like, no, don't you dare say that. Uh, Dennis, who are the organizers of the convoy? You're going to want to talk to Soup Mama or Nicole or Jason. Um, American Freedom Convoy Ways, if you're asking about that. Uh, the organizers of TPC, I don't know. They keep changing. So I don't know who's organizing it anymore. I know Marcus is one of them. That's all I know. Um, but if you want to get in contact with Nicole, I know American Freedom Convoy uh I think she made an announcement yesterday. They, they don't have the funds to be covering gas uh, receipts. That's the only thing different that's going to be with American Freedom Convoy. Otherwise, TPC, as long as you're in the convoy, I believe, please don't hold me to this, but I believe, I'm not speaking on their behalf, the way they used to do it was if you were convoying with the convoy, they paid for your gas. They will not pay for you to come out there. They're not going to pay for your gas receipts to meet up with them or to go home. But they will pay for them if you're convoying. Uh, I know American Freedom Convoy, it's not in the budget yet, but thanks to donations coming in, hopefully soon they'll be able to do it uh, do it like TPC does, but it shouldn't be about getting gas receipts. If you can't fund yourself on this project, it's probably recommended that you don't do it. Um, I know a lot of people that got stuck out here, um, not just in, in California, but in Maryland and everywhere. A lot of people got stuck out here uh, with no way to get back because they literally dropped everything, left their house, sold their 401k off, and, and uh, took a camper on the road. So if you're not prepared for this lifestyle of being on the road and convoying and literally giving everything you've got, it's probably not for you. You might want to come for a couple days, hang out, and then go back, uh, show your support. But it's not recommended you stay out here for months on end or weeks on end. Um, everybody has a life. You're going to want to continue yours as well as, as much as we do too. Okay. There you go, Brenda. Brenda's got it up. Um, but yeah, I was just breaking down, Brenda, as much as I knew about what was going on from, from what I've heard. But like I said, don't hold me to anything. Um, we're just on our way to another bridge. Six minutes. So we got six minutes to the next bridge. Nice church on the right. Big old church. I'm starting to see those mountains in the distance again. We should have pretty decent service out here in the open. Alabama. In a quarter mile, continue straight. Brenda, uh, American Freedom Convoy is just uh, securing a location, and um, they have a soup kitchen available. They have some food. When we do convoys, we're going to go out, come back. Please make sure you guys understand. Um, you have to secure your own funds for this mission. Yep, to the right. Just careful. There you go. Yeah, just make sure you guys know you got to kind of secure your own funds for this mission. 
no matter where it is. I mean, make sure you're financially equipped to be doing this. Like we're running strictly on supporter funds. Once the supporter funds run out, uh, we're going to be going back to New Jersey. That's just the case because there's only so far we could take it um, with the plan that we got. Keep in mind, we left two months ago expecting to go down to a rally and go back home. And we've been on the road doing this ever since. But it's thanks to everybody out there that keeps us going. We don't splurge. We stay at campsites for $20 a night. We live in a tent. You know, we spend 90% of our money on gas and food. So, uh, gasoline is definitely something we've been paying for from the start. We've actually never cashed in on a gas receipt. We cashed in on one. We got one bottle of propane uh, refilled thanks to uh, Hippie Mama. She helped us out. And that was towards the end. Oh, don't, oh yeah, I can't forget cigarettes. Cigarettes, I've cut down a lot though because we're on a budget now. Yeah, and they've been riding mostly in PA because they're way cheaper. Yeah. Um, uh, B, I'm gonna be honest with you, man. We've done 18 degrees out here with three inches of snow on our tent. And we survived that. Uh, Hagerstown was absolutely miserable. It put me to the camping test out there for the East Coast weather. But I'm an East Coast boy. I've been doing this my whole life, man. I can literally build a shelter. If you watch my earlier videos, one of my first videos up is me building a uh, bushcraft shelter that can withstand the wet weather for uh, the winter, no problem. But yeah, LBI, you're on it. I totally forgot, man. Like, there's just little things like that that I forget about. You know, food, drinks, cigarettes, stuff like that. They just had a Fiat, uh, not a Fiat. What's that called? It looked like a Mr. 2, one of those uh, MR2s. That's cool, that cliff's just carved out by the water. I'm telling you, man, it's cheaper for cigarettes down here. It's way cheaper. So we're three minutes away from our next covered bridge, guys. We're going to start going quicker because uh, they're, they're less spaced apart now. Coming to a supermarket near you. That's reality. It sucks. Your hamburger comes from somewhere. If you're around here, probably there. Continue on Mill Road for one mile. Two minutes away, guys. Ooh, this is gonna be a short little bridge. It's not gonna be very tall. It's only seven five. What is this? Nap Napier Township? That was definitely a quail. Or some kind of quail family bird. Honey, don't touch the fences around here. <laughs> One minute away to Calvin Covered Bridge. You know what, B, for, if it's reasonably priced, I might grab uh, a dozen of farm fresh eggs if I see them on the side of the road. I don't know if we have cash on us, though. That's the problem. Well, I'm talking about for, he's talking about for breakfast tomorrow. Oh, two cycles. We have very limited amount of money. Yeah, the space for us is not a lot. And I don't want, to, I don't want them to go back. And, and to tell you the truth, man, we're going to be up at like 4 o'clock in the morning tomorrow to get to that Trump rally, so... We're going to be up and at them very early. Um, were they more sturdy having a cover? The bridges? I don't know. What do you think, Jen? Do you think 
the bridges are more sturdy? Do you feel like it rocking around at all? Or? No. All right, we're coming down to it, guys. I don't feel them moving, so I think a proper bridge is definitely Oh, he waved. He's cool. Here we go. Is that a pull-off right before it? Let's do the pull-off. That thing is shorty. Shorty. You've arrived. Look at that. And that's only because the cross beams on the side, they'll clip the side of your uh, U-Haul truck or your UPS truck. Hold on. Oh, oh, oh. Always. Cool. Clearance is only seven foot five inches for you truck drivers out there. Don't come down this way. Bedford County Bridge number fifty. 15 Colin Calvert Bridge uh, it's been rehabilitated in 1998 commissioners engineers it was uh, constructed around 1880 it's one of the oldest it's wait I'm sorry the Colvin covered bridge is one of Bedford County's oldest remaining covered bridges the original builder of the structure which spans the Shawnee Creek was J.H. Thompson this bridge is one of only two multiple King Post bridge covered bridges in the county. I think we've seen the other one. Actually, no, we haven't seen the other one because we didn't see a construction like this yet. I don't believe. Notice the trusses. What they're talking about are the the angles and the uh, pitch of all these beams. See how they're slanted into each other, but at a certain angle. So they're wink and then wink so that's all that hold the weight and the load above it oh i just stepped off the platform and almost broke my ankle but what a view you know water you can see right to the bottom of where's the trout at cook some lunch up right here on the spot i got everything i need in the car how about this side? Could fall asleep to that, huh? Uh, what kind of wood are the trusses? Um, I'm not positive on that. I'm gonna say some kind of hardwood. Maybe oak. But we're just gonna check it out from this side over here. Got a little drainage thing probably added. There's a really nice house with a farmhouse on the other side of this thing up here. It's got like a barn on the side. There's the Freedom Mobile in the background. Hi, Jen. So what a nice little spot we're at. Got a car to go over in his example. That's cool. Let's see if I can get a little view from this side here without having to walk too far into the woods. Huh, not bad. I found something for Jen. Uh oh, we're all pixelated. I think I, it's because I walked away from Jen. Sorry, guys. I forgot, she's got this, the Wi-Fi. I can't go too far from my girl. I got something for you, babe. Striker! Aw, thanks, babe. Thank you, babe, for being you. You're awesome, as Ralph would say.
So there is our next covered bridge and Freedom Mobile. Okay. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. I put them there. I wonder if they'll stay there. What do you think? What do you mean? Oh, the little flowers up there? Do you think they'll stay there or they blow away? Yeah, I think they'll stay there. The cop will probably give you a ticket for obstruction of view or something, too. <laughs> you know? They'll pull us over and be like, what's up with all this freedom? I'm going to give you a ticket for that flower right there. All right. So, let's get this other one. Hey, Striker. Striker's back? Mm -hmm. I was just asking about her. Hey, Striker. How was lunch? I bet it was good. Ooh, guess what? What? Our next one's a little bit further up. How far away from the campsite? Don't worry. I'm just wondering. We're good. We're I'd good. I'd like to know if we're like two or three hours out. So we hit Calvin. We hit Turner's. Now we're going to Cuppets Covered Bridge. And that is nine minutes away. Head northeast on Mill Road. All right. Uh -oh, me to go over the bridge. Yay! There's a car coming over the bridge. I see it. Hi. He, he was just looking at us like, oh my God, these hooligans are doing something with a camera. Get him. Yay, Jen gets to say that she drove over like, I don't even know how many covered bridges, because we hit a couple in Vermont that we never put on tape uh, back in the day. Yeah, I don't remember which one. No, we didn't drive over. Oh, that's cool, Striker. She, she got a bunch of stuff, chopped it up for the uh, birds and stuff. So we, we went through a couple. We went through that other one looking for that. We are on some back, back country roads. Notice, yeah, you don't see traffic around us. There is a styling in the middle of nowhere. That's her house. She's yep. Done in the business side. Woo! Uh, Thank you, Brenda. Yeah, I, I su we support everything going on. If you're one person standing in your yard waving a flag for the mailman, all right, I support you. It doesn't matter what you call yourself. I support the cause. Yes. I think that's the discrepancy. That's what I have to iron out there. Anybody who's out here doing any of this, um, if you're not in it to support the cause, and you're in it to support it, you know, specific organization if you're just doing division like you know dems and republicans anyway you're doing the same damn division so we all have to get on board and all have to be on the same page when it comes to the movement level what is that that's funny i think it's a rabbit made out of logs that is so cool we got a trump flag over there 2024 this is a patriotic little town here hold on I gotta get control of the gimbal again. Pleasantville. Pleasantville. No, ten miles left on the Pennsylvania line six We're not in Pleasantville, nine miles. We're in Shellsburg. What was the name of that? Yes, thank you, Striker. I really don't get into it too much anymore. It's not even worth talking about. Like, if you watch the channel, you'll understand that we're out here trying to spread the message to everybody we meet. We're going to different places to show you our history. You know, a lot of people are not, um, they're not familiar with the, the stuff right in their own backyards, you know. And a lot of locals jump on my channel and they're like, yo, go check out this battlefield or go check out um, this park. 
or get to go check out this tower or this historic spot. So in between going to rallies and everything like that, we're trying to spread the word about the movement. And not only that, we're trying to show you guys our history and what happened and uh, where we came from. Revolutionary War, Civil War, French and Indian War, uh, even our Vietnam, World War One, World War Two soldiers, you know, they all died for a cause, guys. And, you know, I'd like to call myself a freedom fighter, but I've never had an opportunity to fight for freedom. So I'm doing it the best way I know how. And that's to get out here and actually do an impact on the, the neighborhoods and communities that I'm visiting. And I have the opportunity to have all this stuff in my hands and people go, oh, what are you recording? What are you filming? And then I tell them and they're like, oh, cool. We have to check that out. And then bam, we opened another set of eyes to the movement. So I'm just doing my part. You guys could do your part. This guy out here is doing his part with this flag. So everybody can support in their own ways. You don't need to have a name. You don't need to have all this crazy setup. It's just Let's get back to the cause, guys. The cause is demanding that we uh, stop this Emergencies Act. We hold our uh, representatives and our senators and our freeholders and our state, local, and federal uh, officers in place. Uh, we hold them accountable for their actions. Because they've all committed felonies. They've all, a lot of them have committed treason. And I, I've never seen, I don't know about you guys, but I've never seen one locked up in a pair of handcuffs, brought into a jail by a, a local or state police officer or anything like that. Never seen anything like that. It's always some backdoor thing, some white collar prison. They don't have to deal with the same people that got locked up for the BS crimes that they made up. <laughs> yeah, striker. Yeah, we need Brenda. Is what we need is everyone to just come out. That's it. It's a it's a movement of the people, and really, it should be it should be called what it is. It's going to be an uprising of the people because we're getting sick of how we're treated, and uh, pretty soon, words are not going to fight anything. Um, you know, the government's going to get tired of us out here. And they'll do their little dirty tricks to get rid of us. And if they can't, they'll stop us out physically. And I, I'm not trying to fight anybody or start a fight. I'm just trying to say I will fight if I have to. And I think I'm on, a lot of people are on board with that. Look at that view, guys. That, they all look like cherry blossoms or something. flowers for sale ahead. Nice. Nice little setup they got. It goes on for acres and acres and acres and acres. Acres. Come on, Colin. Stop being a turd. Alright, we got... A I want to give this truck a little room because this truck, this car in front of us I'm not digging that moon pie thing. I don't know what it is. Never heard of it before. I thought it was like a moon pie, but it's not. Oh my god, okay, sorry, oh my god. Uh, maybe making a right up there. Oh, uh, maybe not, there it is up there. See him. Here we go, up here.
Hey guys, sorry about that. We found our new bridge. But my service is a turd. Oh God. Okay. <sighs> Technical difficulties. So we're gonna check out this bridge here. Give me two seconds to plug my phone back in because it will die in 10 seconds. So here we go, we got a wooden one. This guy is super rickety looking. I gotta get a better angle on it so you guys can actually see the, the bridge itself here. This is an old wooden bridge. This doesn't have uh, the characteristics of the other ones where it's been made over and redone this looks like the actual wood it was constructed with let's see though oh there's a bird up there hey bird nest and bird okay i was just walking anything else no okay jay there we go so this one's a little uh a little different. I'm going for it. I mean, what's the worst that's going to happen? I'm going to fall into two feet of water. Oh, no. So, here we go again. Another bridge. We got some markings on it. There's our new bridge that isn't covered. That's taken over for this bridge. Again, we have open walled. Anybody see a fish in there, let me know. Uh, we'll jump off here and grab it. <laughs> Somebody got a tire swing out there. That's cool. A little fishing hole. A little swimming hole there. So the roof is in desperate need of repair. Those cross slats are all broken and stuff. There's not a lot of structural integrity left to them. Ooh, I just found a loose board under my foot. That was fun. I don't have a date on this guy. Carpenter bees got to it. Nice little shot of that. <laughs> Pollen is thick out here, guys. Back over the bridge. This is the oldest one I've had to walk on today. And that loose board is right. Nope. That one. One of these. I don't know. I'm not trying to find out which one it is again. But it definitely is the uh in need of the most repair out of all the ones we've been to today. Freedom Mobile. So there you go, guys. There's another one. And what's this one called, honey? Colvin? No. Who, Rupert's? Rupert's oh. covered brain. Cooper's. Let me get this set up again. And this set up. 
get a little faster. All right, now we're up. We're going north. Oh, you want food first, right? Yeah. All right. Where's our next destination? The next one is Riot. And Riot's four minutes away. So, on the way to Riot, let's see if we find any food on this highway. What do you think? I'm gonna look and see what I can find. Bye, covered bridge. All right. On the road again. What's happened? Yeah, it's horse and buggy size, right? Yeah, it's R Y O T. Right? 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 I don't know. I don't know how it's pronounced. I'm not from here. I probably butcher the name of these towns every time I say something. This is Dunnings Creek, though. That that bridge goes over is Dunnings Creek. Yeah. R Y O T. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And it's three minutes away from here. What is that thing? Yeah, open. That looks like pork and eggs. I don't think you're getting pork roll there. Maybe a pork roast. I'm hungry though. I'm definitely on board with you. I need some food. Let's see. I was going to peanut butter and jelly it up. But. Oh, it must be peanut butter jelly time for that guy. He can't wait to get... Oh, this one too. Is he going to go for the double? Oh, I thought what he was going for the double. Limit, well, we definitely don't speed, guys, because uh, I don't know many people who get past doing that. But they uh, they need to get somewhere faster than us. God bless them. Hope they get there safe. they sold out to Sprint or whatever but uh, yeah that's who keeps dropping my service everywhere I go so alright two minutes away from our next bridge we are now headed north we're headed north uh, hitting bridges along the way uh, my service is dropping, you know, every once in a while here. I think it's just because the mountains, they're not like messing with me or not. Big old barn over here. Hey, if uh, you're new to joining us, make sure you like, share, subscribe. We're doing a little covered bridge tour in Pennsylvania today. And we are also stopping at a couple cool, interesting places, like the 9-11 Memorial for Flight 93. Uh, we saw a helicopter, a tank. Ooh, what is this over here? Is that a real person standing outside their house staring at us? I think it is. I don't know. Let's wave. Yep. He, yep, he was alive. Real he was a real person. That didn't look like a real person. Nobody never sees cars in like, what's Sorry, everybody. Let me try to switch back to the Wi-Fi and see if that gets any better. Uh, we are three minutes away from our covered bridge spot. That's it. Let me know in the comments if it's any better of footage right now. I switched to the Wi-Fi. Ooh, we got some big old silos over there. Look at this, man. It is just green rolling hills as far as the eye can see.
Jen wants some food. We'll find a little country kitchen out here somewhere and have a cool little dinner. You guys want to eat dinner with us? Yeah, your Wi-Fi is worse. Oh, sorry. All right, we're going back to my uh, service because Jen's Wi-Fi makes it worse, apparently. Can't even get service with the Wi-Fi. Weekend at Bernie's, is that what you said? Oh my God, I remember that. Definitely. Did you have member berries today? Are you eating member berries? Member, member, member. Remember we can get Bernie's? Remember when the roads just stopped working? We are one minute away from our next covered bridge, guys. Fire word. Some fire weird. Next covered bridge. Right here in front of us. Yeah, that's a little white one. I don't know if it's little. Is it little? It looks pretty big. Ooh, nice. Here we go, guys. Driving up. Look at this one. Look at that view, man. So cool. What a nice view. I'm going to get out and check that. And then you find that on the other side. Bam! Old glory, baby. Ugh. All right. Jen's going to find somewhere to eat real quick. Well, well, I don't have any service, so that's not going to happen. Oh, Jen has no service, so she's got to wait for me to get back. Real quick, look at these fields out here. Just a beautiful landscape for a little covered bridge like this. So this one's got some sides on it. This is what we're working with here. Get that for later. Screenshot. Let's go inside. I bet people love when people walk across these things. They're probably like, look at this idiot with the camera. It's okay. I forgive them. We're not going to see off the side of this guy. This one stays maintained, obviously. Looks like there's a bunch of cigarette butts on the ground, meaning, oh, look at that hornet's nest or paper wasp. That must have been big. There was another one in this corner over here. They like this bridge. And there's that little body of water it runs across. This bridge isn't named on the bridge itself, but it does say it right here. It was rebuilt in 2004, Bedford County Bridge Number 12, riot, riot covered bridge. Uh, construction of the riot covered bridge was approved by the a grand jury on April 23rd, 1867, at Jacob Beckley Fording. The surveyor was Samuel Ketterman, and viewers were Hiram Davis and William Kirk. A major restoration was performed in 1995. In 2002, arsonists burned the bridge. <laughs> they burned the bridge. The county commissioners committed to rebuilding the bridge and work was completed in 2004. So a little bastard arsonist or some idiot burned the bridge down. And I was literally just talking about how some idiot was throwing cigarette butts all over this thing. You know, you just can't fix stupid people. Look at that view through here though.
You know what? It probably was, B. It probably was. Sorry about that loss of connection there. My dumbass had to go pressing buttons again. I'm like, I want a screenshot. I like that shot right there. Bam. What a pretty view, though. I got a car coming. There's horse crap on here, too. Car didn't come down the bridge. All right. Now I got to find out where we're going to go eat real quick. Let's see. I say me and Jen just keep kicking it down this road. And we'll just stop at a farmer's house and eat. What do you think, babe? Yeah. We'll just stop at a farmer's house and we'll just be like, hey, we're here for dinner. Well, there's the Horno Plenty. But, uh, Horno Plenty? There's the Lion's Den Cafe. Horn? We're gonna go oh, plenty? Yeah. Now, I mean, that just sounds like it's calling our name. Horn on a stick, horn on the plenty. No. Wherever you want to go, though, I'm down with. Yeah, we're going to go here because I just looked at the new All right. Wherever Jersey Jen wants to eat, I am down with eating. All right. We're going to get real food, a nice dinner. Well, Let's it's see. Dinner time, so dinner time. B, right? I know. We'll just roll up at a farmer's house, tell them we broke down and we're hungry. Get like a, oh my god, if you could see the size of this house, there's no way you're going to see it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Alright, look at the size of this house overlooking this property here. Woof, where are we going? Look at that thing. This castle overlooking this field and this property. It's got to be his. That's insane. Nice That's old man Witherford. His family bought that they property. They have good food there. They have some good food in that house, I bet. Yeah, they probably have their own restaurant in there. Movie theater, bowling alley. This is probably his farm. No, that thing is like... That thing's huge. I wish you could see it in real life, guys. Like the, the size of that thing, you know, an aspect to the the location is. I, I don't <coughs> even want a house that big. The heck wants to clean that? I don't want to clean it. Nope. You get out of the road. What is wrong with you, dead birds today? I tell you. All right, guys. So here's what we're doing now. Um. Me and Jersey Jen are a little hungry. We've been at this for you know, quite a while now. So we're gonna go stop and eat some dinner. And then hit a couple more covered bridges. Yeah, on the way home. Well, yeah, there's only two or three more. Hey guys. Uh, so like we were saying, we're gonna go grab some food real quick. Hit one or two more covered bridges, and then head back to the campsite for the night. So we're gonna keep you guys with us for a little bit. We're gonna go find a little local spot to eat at, and we'll give an online review of the food and the uh, service. This should be fun. People love when we bring the camera in. They're like, what is that? Why are we on tape? We don't wanna be on tape. Some people like it, and some people get really mad. Yeah, some people get upset. Alright, we're making a left up here. Oh, we got a Trump flag. It said Trump country, and that's Terry's auto sales. He's got three percenter flag up, and he's got the uh, Trump flag. We'll probably see him. Oh. That guy at the rally. Terry. Terry, that guy back there that owned the house. Oh, that's Terry. Yeah. I thought you said Kerry. I'm like, Kerry? I haven't seen Kerry since he left. I know, it was Terry. I said oh. Kerry. I haven't seen Terry since he left yet. I wonder if he's going to come back. I hope so. We're all in this fight. Shepherd's pie. I can go for some shepherd's pie. We just pie. went by here. 
Oh, we did. Yes, we did. I remember that pole with the writing on it. Absolutely. Just came up this road. No doubt about it. I don't remember any of this. Oh, yeah. Just remembered that pole. That was like, oh, wow, that almost said USA on it. No way, Jose. What do you guys think in the chat? Are we going back the same way? I don't even remember. What? Remember the guy standing up there? Standing in front of his house with like two real? Remember? He was standing right in front of that red house right there. That, that we road. went up that road though. Yeah, that's the road. Oh, yeah, we yeah. came up this road. Oh, yeah. It took us oh, in a circle. Oh, you're right, Jen. I know. I noticed that pole. That's a landmark. My gimbal's just doing its own thing. That's Miling like out. Windy roads here. This guy seems like I'm not going fast enough for him. Oh, everybody else has no problem passing. I mean, you can do it too, right? You should have that option in New Jersey. You know how much? You know how many people would drive better if we had that option in New Jersey? Yeah. That passing thing. Then we wouldn't have to worry about people riding. Back of us the whole way. Yeah. Jersey, change the laws over there and put some passing lanes. Exactly. I moved down. Uh, she's a big, big, big mama. Yeah, I always try that Shepherd's Pie if it's on the menu. If I'm at like a pub or something, they always got like Shepherd's Pie up. I feel like I'm in a rally race with all these freaking turns and stuff. Meow. Meow. This car couldn't even go that fast as it wanted to. Uh, driving into the sky, baby. Driving into the sky. I think we're on the other side of that guy's field. Damn, man. This countryside is beautiful. Eat it up, guys. Eat it up. By so fast, everything is so fast. Uh, okay, we might be able to do something in there. Let's see. Camera, because I didn't realize it was like a indoorsy kind of spot, and I don't like throwing the camera up in people's faces. Huh? Oh, okay. Um, so. I think we'll end it for now. Do you want to say bye to everybody with Bye, guys. We'll see you guys later. Thanks for coming. Love you. Sorry we're ending it early. But, uh, yeah, we're going to go eat. And we're tired. We've been running around all day. Jen's been driving. We're going to see you guys tomorrow. So we're going to take a break. Maybe we'll do something later. We'll see. Maybe but, we'll bring you back for a fire later. Yeah, we might bring you back for a little bit of fireside uh, hangout. So until then, we'll see you later. Bye.